The red ant. Let me know if my audio is good. This is the first time I've screamed in a while. Wait till more people get here, of course. Rare Mish 3. Mishu streaming the same time as Jabroni Mike streaming Pizza Tower, the hardest decision I've ever made. Uh, probably watch that guy play Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower is cool and new. Well, it's not new, it's a year old, but the noise update is very new. Two windows? Oh yeah, for sure watching two streams. I mean, I guess you're kind of watching Pizza Tower, because there's Pizza Tower music playing in the background. <clears throat> Maybe if we, uh... If we finish WarioWare early, I could play some fucking noise update. <laughs> Family Guy Subway Surfers, nice. You playing OG WarioWare? I am! So this stream is mostly just uh, an excuse to A, not have my channel die, and B, get footage for an upcoming video. Because I'm gonna be using WarioWare footage, and I figured that this would just be a fun little... fun little opportunity to do so. More shoot X? True. Oh yeah, there's two more shoes on the screen. Well, I guess... I'm always impatient starting these things. I'm like, I'll wait for people to show up. And then I never... I never wait that long. Uh, pop out Chut is here. We can go to our epic WarioWare screen. Let me move this over. Trust Wario with my life. Alright, we're named Ramen on this save file. Boy. 2000X! Oh my god, that's that's in the past now. I 101%ed the noise update last night. I think it solidified Pete's Tower as my favorite game of all time. It's such a good game. I, it, I At first, I hated the noise update, because I was like, oh my god, my muscle memory is like actually making this so hard, but once it clicked, it it clicked. <laughs> it's so it's so fun. Noise just destroys Gnome Forest and all that jazz. All that jazz. Very very 30-year-old-ish thing for me to say. <laughs> I'm not 30 yet.
was following Pizza Tower since 2007. Glad it's as big as it is. Me too. I mean, I don't I don't remember when I... I think I first discovered Pizza Tower when uh, Vinny first streamed it. So that might have been, like, late 2018? It was also easier because they nerfed a lot of the penisy parts in the Halloween update. What? Penisy parts? Do you think Wario wipes? Uh, probably not. I mean, I know there was the, like, part of Gnome Forest where, like, everyone lost their combo, including me, and they added rat fairies to help you... help you along the way. Penis nerf was tragic. Hello, A. Lameo. Oh, no, we already... we're already... You think Wario lets it crust? Of course he does. He doesn't care about nothing. Including the poop on his own butt. Anytime Vinny streams some in random indie game, it seems to have a 2 to 5 chance for it to suddenly get popular. I mean, that makes sense. Vinny's a huge, huge streamer. Alright, you have to actually initiate the punch on this bag. Sure you can! Wario just <laughs> lets it hang! <laughs> Like, off of his ass hair. That's actually disgusting, I am sorry. <laughs> I love Barnyard. Wario's only love is money. You think he'd concern himself about a wee bit of crust? It, absolutely not. I thought it was Joel playing it? I mean, they both might have. I, I, I'm pretty sure Vinny played it at, at first, because I... I remember- <laughs> this is so stupid! I remember getting into like a like YouTube comment argument with someone who was like, Ugh, you're like celebrity worshipping Vinny Vinesauce for mentioning him under a Pizza Tower OST upload. And it, and like, I remember being like, yeah, Vinny literally said like, oh this game feels like it was made for me. I guess we should try to 100% this game, cause like, you don't go through all the micro games in one, in one sitting. How does it feel to be a legend? I ain't no legend, I'm just the guy who, who got lucky uploading one video that got popular. He's not dead? Not yet. If I if I stop uploading forever, then I am totally dead. Oh, I'm dead now! I've watched so many Iceberg videos, so have I. My phone headphone entrance broke, so I'm using my 3DS to listen to music. Nice. What do you think about One Piece live action? I watched like two episodes and I did not like it very much. <laughs> I I probably should have watched the entire thing to get a good, an actual good first impression. Not first, a good impression on it. Do you plan on making more Iceberg videos? Probably not, but who knows if... Once this Wario video is done, I don't know if like... If on, on Patreon or whatever, people would vote for an ice- I, They definitely would, that's why they fucking subscribe to me, but... I mean, I don't... I'd actually have to find a good iceberg and or make one. Both are easier said than done. Also, like, I feel like icebergs at this point on YouTube are like... Everyone has made one. And like, it, it it's... It's like my... <laughs> me making one wouldn't be like a like special event. Right, like it would just be another run-of-the-mill video, but who? I don't know. You th you think I plan anything? <laughs> Some things. Creepy pasta iceberg. No one has done that. They people definitely have done that. Um, a New Zealand YouTuber Izzy is has made like a multi-part creepy pasta iceberg, and there have been a few others that I've like watched, but I don't remember who specifically uploaded them. Um, there's a stone in the way, oh no. One layer spaghetti. Make a volcano video instead. So true. I make an entire video about the lethal lava land volcano. That is, that's actually something I would do. <laughs> like, first time catching one live. Welcome to the stream.
I think we might have seen all the micro games in this, so I guess after this boss one I will exit and go to Jimmy's micro games. Metroid Iceberg maybe. I was ages ago I like wrote a Metroid Iceberg video. I didn't complete the writing process of it, but like it was mostly about 2D Metroid since I had not played any of the 3D ones, and I'm like, that that, that feels like it would be a little incomplete. Ramen, do you like TV? Great entertainer he is. True, I am Simple Flips in real life. Don't tell him. Don't tell him we're the same person. Alright. How do you how do you see like which micro games you've Oh wait. Grid, alright. Okay, we we've not seen one. We've we haven't seen this the one in the middle, so I can come back to that later. I probably shouldn't have exited out. Okay, I'll I'll remember to do this once I finish Jimmy. Shout out to the simple flips, so true. Speaking of simple flips, I've been like slacking on making my competition hack for him. Um for his next comp. And like I know I could I could just not submit because it's not finished, but I'm like, ugh. <laughs> that, like, comps happen, like, once every year. Hi, kidders! If an iceberg is a list of trivia that continues to get more obscure, a volcano should be a list of controversies that get more and more <laughs> incendi it incendi incendiary. I can read. I can read, allegedly. Um, honestly, I've seen, like, YouTube controversy icebergs. I've seen Twitch controversy icebergs. So, those are definitely a thing. I love how everything sounds in these games, Wario Land 4 too. I, I totally agree. They use the Game Boy Advance's like crunchy ass sound limitations to be like they used it as a feature, I guess. They embraced the limitations. I also really like how in older WarioWare games, they like things intentionally look very like low low-tech, crusty, I guess? I I in, like, the newer WarioWare games, that's kind of missing a bit. Everything looks quite good and clean. Oh, Palm Tree Paradise music. The compact I've been making has been, like, super small, yet I haven't gotten anything finished. Same. I wanted to just make, like, a single little level where Mario slides around, but I'm, like... <laughs> I think we've talked about this, like, randomly, kidders, like, in Discord, how level design is so hard in 3D. <laughs> Ugh. Makes you appreciate the... the OG Mario 64 devs a lot more. LeBron James? It's my first time seeing any Wario content that isn't from Smash. Well, a lot of Wario's moveset in Smash is allegedly inspired by WarioWare, so... I mean, like, it's not that inspired by WarioWare, he just kind of spins a lot and acts kind of crazy, but you should check out the Wario Land games, they are quite good. I love gambling! So true! I remember playing Smooth Moves and the amount of crusty 3D graphics in that game was awesome! I played that at a friend's house, it was really good. Um, I also own WarioWare Move It, that game is... Actually, maybe, maybe next stream I will play Move It. Because that game is really good. Oh! Punch out at home. Rank the WarioWare games? Okay, out of the ones I've played, I really loved uh, WarioWare Touched on DS. That was, that was my first one as a kid, so I'm quite biased. Uh, next would probably be... This game, like, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's actually really good, especially for being the first one. Like, there was no other game really like it. Uh, actually, I might have Smooth Moves as a second, but I've only played that literally one time at a friend's house. I would consider Move It and Smooth Moves to be pretty much on the same level. I don't know, I haven't played a bad WarioWare game. That being said, I've not played a ton of them. I remember playing Twisted, but that... That one's like not very good to just like play on an emulator because you know you actually the, the whole point of it is you you uh twist the Game Boy Advance around and the cartridge it like the cartridge has like mercury in it <laughs> to uh to determine how you are 
twisting it. I've not played WarioWare Gold, I actually want to play that one quite a bit, but... I don't know, again, that one would probably be not good to emulate. Um, so I, I'll i probably just, like, track down a copy on, like, eBay or something. But I have looked before, those games are quite expensive. Okay, we're missing a few games. Oh, it doesn't tell you the names of them. Oh, oh, you go, like... There's a lot of games we're missing. Okay, we're only missing one for Wario, so we will... We'll do Wario again, like, way later. We'll just go back into Jimmy's menu game. Is there a bad WarioWare game? This series seems to have a good rep. I know, I mean, I know there were, like, a few random gimmick ones, like, on the DSi and on the Wii U. I, again, I don't know how good they are. Have you played Game & Wario, and do you consider it a WarioWare game or a spin-off of a spin-off? I have not played Game & Wario, so I have no opinion on it. Snapped is obviously the best one for sure. Well, I think that was the... I'm reading Sako's message. I I do not actually believe Snapped is the best one because I've never played it, but... I'm, that was the DSi one, I'm pretty sure. Come on, come on, party. You want fun? Wow, do you show you fun? There's a more lengthy message above there, but <laughs> hard to read between these micro games. Also, the thing I really, really liked or like about WarioWare is that you have like a fraction of a second to understand what you are playing, but these games do a really good job at just conveying what you need to do in such a short amount of time. Like, oh, like, jump over this thing. That is quite easy to, to, uh, to understand, even if you, like, don't speak English or whatever, because, not if you don't speak English, but, uh, I was always bad at this game. <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel, I feel like a child who plays these games, who, like, uh, who doesn't, understand the text on screen, could still understand what is going on in most of these. For the most part. Oh, yeah. Baseball minigame. Weirdly, it's almost like a rhythm game. I didn't get a chance to read the second half of that message, but this was made by the same people who made Rhythm Heaven. Um, like, WarioWare Gold is named after Rhythm Heaven Gold or something. I think. I mean, I know it's called Rhythm Tengoku in Japan. And the first one never came out. But the first one was... The first one never came out outside Japan, but it was for the Game Boy Advance, I'm pretty sure. Rhythm Heaven is awesome. I never played any Rhythm Heaven games, except I think I tried to emulate the DS one, and it went about as well as you can expect. Sorry, I was removing a message, and I don't have background input enabled for WarioWare, for obvious reasons. Wario, like, share, and subscribe. True! Oh, he can't lift. Bounce 45 feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Move It kind of lost some of that instantly understandable thing. I mean, the motion games... Oh. Oh. No. I have never seen that game in my life. Um, the motion games kind of have to have a little... ...display... Oh, I- I lost. I lost! This game reminds me of a stage in Smash Bros. Brawl. I wonder why. Uh, the motion control WarioWare games, such as Move It and Smooth Moves, they have to have a little display telling you what form to assume before you do a micro game. So I feel like you have a few seconds to understand, like, kind of what you need to do. But yeah, some of them are kind of hard, especially the ones where you have to use the Joy-Cons infrared sensors, those were like... Okay, to be fair to the game, I played it with a friend. We were playing the one-player mode because to play two-player you need... You need, uh, two pairs of Joy-Cons, which I don't have because I don't want to, like... <laughs> yeah, well, who would buy two pairs of Joy-Cons just for, like, just for funsies? Um... 
Anyway, so we were just handing off the, jo the pair of Joy-Cons to each other, and the <laughs> the infrared ones were like really hard because you had to like point the Joy-Con at your hand in the right in the exact right way and leave the other one like slack with the wrist strap. And obviously we weren't using the wrist straps because we were just passing the controllers back to each other. So it was it was pretty chaotic. Yay, we did it. Mario no care. Oh yeah. Another thing that I appreciate about the WarioWare games, at least the earlier ones, I saw a video ranking like every single WarioWare game um, in terms of how many colors are used, and it's cool that that a lot of these are just they, they use minimal colors sometimes to give like a very simplistic look. I don't know. I think it's cool. I remember trying to emulate the first one of heaven. It wasn't great, much better on actual hardware. I imagine. The IR ones don't work for me because my hands are too large and don't fit in the frame. Dang! I mean, I think you can move your... Actually, no. If you move your hands too far back, it, um, wouldn't detect it, but... Yeah. Th those, again, those games are, are very ambitious in terms of how they use the technology. No vibes here. I mean, kept... Pothas, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Probably avoid topics such as that if you can. I mean, I I want to be charitable and say you didn't have bad intentions, but you know. Oh <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what you say. Anyway, I don't know if we've been through all the micro games in Jimmy T's thing. If if not, then oh well. <laughs> Once again, I have to appreciate the sound design where it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't Alright, if, if we don't go to like 25 without seeing a new one, we will. Oh, oh yeah. we, we went out of the curling zone. We'll, we'll move on to the next pack. GBA sound design is incredible. Is the thumbnail supposed to be one of the original images in that Whack-A-Mole minigame in stage? It is! Um, it's from the WarioWare website. That It's uh, all in Japanese. But they have a few random behind-the-scenes things. We might not even make it to the- oh, we already make it, made it past 25. Well, I guess we'll just go until we, until we lose. This is a new one. What is this? I've never seen such a minigame in my life. I thought I had to like avoid the clouds or something. Alright, let's see. How many how many did we do? Oh. We unlocked a pill. I wonder if it's meant to sound like an arcade. I mean maybe. That that makes sense. Dr. Wario. Uh, we did not unlock all the Jimmy micro games. We only have, we only have two, but we'll move on to Dribble, Mona, or Nine. We'll, we'll save Nine Volt because I, I his his micro games are always my fucking favorite. They have, they're all I know they're just hashtag retro, but they're awesome. Imagine putting a whole NES game today as an unlockable. I know, right? Actually, I mean, when the Switch first launched, they had Golf as an unlockable as like a little easter egg, because I think that was, it was the first game Iwata programmed or something for Nintendo, right? Something like that. It was, it was an easter egg and then they removed it from, from the Switch. Everyone gets a placebo! <laughs> Grandpa's jelly beans. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I forgot how crusty this background photo was, but it's also kind of funny to look at. Also, I, I don't know if this is consistent across the whole series, but I know in, in this game and in WarioWare Touched, Mona's like running from the police to to get to work. It's quite it's quite amusing. I kind of think someone put that in without telling the higher ups. Yes, that I'm pretty sure that was the case. And like I think the official reason that people speculated they had to remove the golf Easter egg from the Switch was because like if you shipped a game with the Switch, it would obviously need an ESRB rating, which I don't 
think Golf had because it was released like way before the ratings board even existed. Mona is evading taxes, so true. I mean, she's... Is she evading taxes? She's just evading the tax collectors being the government, I guess. Ad jump scare? Oh, are you guys getting... If you guys are getting ads, I'm not the one doing them. It's, uh... I think I just said to auto-place ads on YouTube, but I, I assumed that was for the VOD. I, I didn't realize that it was for the whole, S, whole live stream. At least car drivers must be dinky. They haven't eaten their, their mushrooms. Enlarge your confidence, Ad. Oh, the the nose picking game, that that's on, that's on every that's in like every WarioWare, isn't it? You're the goat Rizzler, Mish. All the goats love me. Hot take, but old Pokemon mainline games are way overrated. If you mean like the first two generations, now those games get their deserved amount of dislike. I like them, but I mean people reasonably do not. I mean I also think the. Modern Pokemon games are so abjectly dog shit that people, um, people kind of romanticize the old ones, but not for bad reason. Gens, like, 4, and four 5, and even 3 are quite, quite good. Gen 6 and 7 are alright as well, I like them. Mostly Gen 7. But... Enlarge your police force, XV. No, I always sucked at that minigame. Also, Mona's voice actress is the same lady who voiced Princess Peach in Mario 64. Leslie Swan. Hot take, Charizard is overrated, Gen 5 good. <laughs> How is that a miss?! <laughs> Coliseum and XD are way better than all the Switch Pokemon games combined. I have never played those games, so I don't have an opinion on them. Competitively, red, blue, yellow, and gold, silver crystal is cool. I have played... A decent amount of uh, red blue uh, gen 1 competitive not gold silver because I know that those it has the reputation of just being a snorf snorlax stall fest now nah, gen 3 was before the physical special split and it wasn't great I honestly if if you're just like playing the mainline stuff physical special split isn't like it, it's honestly not that big of a big of a deal to not have it in the main game. In competitive, it's also like, I don't know, I feel like in Gen 3, things got by without physical special. Not everything, like Sneasel and like Crawdaunt, they didn't have same type attacks. But I don't know, I I think people who are like, oh, old the old Pokemon gens are like unplayable because of the physical special split, it's like, it's not that big a deal. I played Gale of Darkness and I think it's pretty okay. I can't call it the other name because YouTube autocorrects it to an emoji. XD? Damn. I'm gonna type XD in chat. Just to... Damn. Was that dog humping? I think he was jumping. XD. Coliseum is better store. I tabbed out of WarriorWare. I was like, why is this taking so long to load? That's because I typed XD in chat. Get out of here! Wow, ramen guy, you did it! I grew up with Pokémon that, that haven't touched anything past Sun and Moon. Good choice! <laughs> Sword and Shield are not very good, Scarlet and Violet are debatably even worse. Uh, what are we- yeah, we should go back into Mona's. Da da da, Mona's Pizza! I think that's in Touched. They have that song. Also, like, cool as hell that they did, a, like, vocal songs. For some of these, uh, some of these characters on the DS. Pokemon XD Gale of Laughter, so true. Swooshy at least functions, Sor Scarlet Violet, it's a buggy mess. Very true. It, it's a buggy mess, but I do prefer it to Sword and Shield. The only Pokemon thing I'm interested in gen is interested in is Generation One because of all the shenanigans you can do. I honestly, Gen One is 
very cool and very fun. However, it's like all like very not good if you're not it, page. Oh, mark page eight. I thought I was there. What was I gonna say? You kind of need a guide to understand what any moves do, and also like yeah, it can feel very weird, bare bones, and archaic if you don't if you're if you're playing it as an actual game and not just a thing to uh, mess around in. But other than that, it is quite fun. One day I want to make a very long essay on why I think Gen 1 is epic. And also Fire and Leaf Green. Squirt! This game's telling me to squirt. Yay, we did it. And the vocals had to be coded and timed carefully to boot. I did not know that. Arbitrary code execution. I mean, I think Legends Arceus, or not Legends, uh, XD and Coliseum are considered spin-offs is because Game Freak didn't make them. Uh, whereas I'm, they definitely did for Let's Go and Arceus. Arceus. Um. And like, I don't know, Ar Arceus is alright. People, people talk about it like it's the second coming of Christ, but it is definitely worth it if... If you're if you've been disillusioned by Pokemon as many have, I that finger is too big. Shine. Oh. Just barely got that one. I think Arceus is decent. Oh yeah, Warland 4's music is carefully timed instead of being cohesive. Ooh, we barely got that dude. I was reading chat while I while I got him. Anime snot. Scrupulous finger is real. Oh shit, Mage Park. Page 15! I somehow got it. I've like never gotten that minigame in my life. Micro game in my life. Brown teeth motherfucker be crazy on that dirt. <laughs> True. I how have I messed up the egg like three times? Supposed to be spice the best star of Arceus, then I've got monotony squared. That is honestly so fucking true. S -s I keep pronouncing your name as like Sako. It's Skawo. <laughs> I can't read! Anyway, yes. Arceus is a fun concept. I lost. I lost! Um I fellow YouTuber Imported Cheese described it as fun for 40 minutes. And I think that is kind of an apt descriptor. But I don't know, it is a hashtag step in the right direction. <laughs> I hate that phrase because like people just use it for every Pokemon game. Or it's like how many steps in the right direction do we need? If you're looking forward to play Legends, I would not like it anywhere near as much as I did when I first played it. Yeah, that makes sense. As someone who was born during the Pokemon craze, it's insane to see how big it was in its heyday. Yeah. I mean, I was born after that, and I kind of wish I could have grown up in that era, but... I don't know. It's still, like, cool. That, that, that sentence was nothing burger. Gen 1 Pokemon was strange since it had questionable quality, but the vision was extremely admirable. It single-handedly got an entire generation into biology. That is true. It is a very admirable little game. That, that stroller totally has little eyes as the wheels. Where are you going? Where to now? I've honestly replayed Dribble Stage so much for the music, it's beautiful for the GPA. <laughs> Fun for 40 minutes is every Pokemon game as an adult, other than Mystery Dungeon. Hot, hot take, I don't like Mystery Dungeon that much, I feel like that game is like... Fun for... 15 minutes? <laughs> no, I, I think I've talked about this on stream before, how, how I'm not a big Mystery Dungeon fan, but I've only played the first game and its remake. And even then, I haven't really completed them. This is a beautifully designed minigame because you see the arrows in the background and then you... Oh, they do have a vocal song for this... for this stage, too. Damn, they accomplished all that in the Game Boy Advance. System that was... Uh, I'm bad at this game! A system that was not designed for... for vocal tracks and stuff. Bowser! I really liked Explorers of Sky. I know, people say that that's like the best game in the Pokemon franchise. The uh, Time, Darkness, and Sky, those games are very well revered. The conversation has now drifted away, as it always does. Uh, I can never stay on topic ever. 
<laughs> Mostly because I love reading your guys' chat messages and you guys talk about very cool and interesting, interesting and varied things. Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3. Uh, maybe next console, guys? Uh, I'm gonna be like 80 years old and I'll be like, any day now, any day now they'll, they'll reveal that Mother 3. This Bowser's brother, because he's blue? Very true. Oh, oh crap, Marino. They're, they're bombing us. Shoot the question mark. My name, Ramen. The name that Wario gave to me. Oh, this game. I like how the song on the radio fil- How the song gets a radio filter outside the micro games. Very true. 3D balls. Oh, Drifted Away is the Spitz level theme. Dribble in Spitz. I almost hit that car. Hit Mars. The red one. If, if I was colorblind, I would hate this game. I hate it. I hate it even now. Blast off. Oh, I was always bad at this one. Oh, we still did it. I was never book smart on money smart. Makes me more intelligent. Uh, shoddy cute. Inner circle too. Told her to get a friend. Uh, she gonna make me slide with my dog like a Mega Man, and I, I got trapped. I'm, I'm as dumb as a spider. <laughs> I am actually as dumb as a, a real life spider. Spittle and dits. Me. If I was, can guys be ditzy? If so, then I totally am. <laughs> Grab. We got that milk. Fun fact, in Japanese bill bills want, want to create a new world free of evil using the Death Note? Their Japanese name- oh yeah, it's Killer. Hey Mishkaz, hello Paragon Gibble. Oh, this- this fun little game. You get a- you get a free space shooter in your, uh, in your Wario microgame collection. Who needs- who- who needs Toho when you got this? Oh yeah, I think- I think they turned to screen clears the bonuses. Alright, you have to like, shoot this into a black hole. Pretty sure you did. Yeah. Yo, you haven't streamed forever! I- it's true I haven't- oh yeah, it is a film reel. On the sides. Yes, it is a screen clear. Nintendo goes hard with names sometimes. Oh, you can just hold down the button. Space shooter game? Right in front of my WarioWare game. Last night was a movie. True. We did it! On one life! We one-lifed this. They want to live a quiet life, so true. Yoshikage Kira and Kira from Death Note both kill a character voiced by Kape Yamaguchi. Can you believe it? I know WarioWare devs made Mario Artist stuff, but I wonder if they made the Game Boy Camera stuff too. This reminds me of the space shooter thing in that. They... I wouldn't be surprised if it was similar similar people. Was that supposed to be my character? Because the the dude uh, Dribble is like, yo, where to next? Ramen, which is what Wario named me. But yeah, I know WarioWare games are, they're all made by Nintendo R&D 1. And they, they had their hands on like a whole bunch of projects. They made like Metroid, they made, made a bunch of stuff. A bunch of good stuff. They are probably, I don't know if they still exist actually, but they were Probably Nintendo's most consistent uh, dev team. Kira best Jojo villain, by the way. I definitely agree. Spoilers for Death Note, by the way, I guess. I mean, it's not a spoiler if you don't know who Kepe Yamaguchi is. He's just a guy. And if you don't read the credits, then it's not a spoiler. <laughs> is no one gonna say something after Mono just evaded capture and now lives a life of crime? I mean, Wario probably lives a life of more crime, so the police probably have their hands full. They're like, oh shit, he's, she's working for Wario. He, like... He hasn't paid taxes in years! <laughs> yep, 
Game Boy Camera was made by the Earthbound people. Oh yeah, that's true. They have um, uh, they have they have that one song from Earthbound in in a thing. Game Boy Camera. The credits theme is the same as Twinkle Elementary from Earthbound Beginnings, aka Mother, aka Earthbound Zero. Kira is probably one of my favorite villains in media. Araki cooked. Very true. He like I love that out of all JoJo villains, Kira is just some dude. He's not like trying to take over the world. He's not trying to trying trying to do anything. He is trying to do insane things, but it's not world-ending insane. He's very, very realistic in that sense. According to Wikipedia, the Game Boy Camera was co-enveloped by Nintendo R&D 1. There you go. It was a R&D 1. Research and Development 1. Game Boy Camera is a quirky Earthbound inspired RPG. <laughs> so true. I mean, there is, like, a battle interface in the Game Boy Camera, and then if you click run, it says it's the creepy who are you running from easter egg. Right? So I guess it is a quirky... It is quite quirky! It does have Earthbound elements, and it does have RPG elements. It all tracks. I like that we actually spend time with him as a character. I don't think any other JoJo villain gets that treatment. Oh, I have to jump. No, no. No, no. Loud! Damn, we're on that loud. Are the creepy faces inspired by depression, though? I guess? <laughs> I think they're inspired by real life, and real life is depressing, so sure. <laughs> Orochimaru was a unique villain, too. Everyone else in Naruto, I didn't get to read the last half of that. Oh, was I supposed to hit that guy? I was. Everyone else in Naruto had reasonable mode, but Orochimaru. Then that guy was just evil. I've never watched Naruto. I haven't gotten super far in part 7 yet, so maybe Funny Valentine is better, but so far- Ah, Funny Valentine is- he's pretty good. I- I hate that you only get one shot for that micro game. I'm gonna lose, because we're talking about anime. Oh! Oh! I gotta do that! What?! I didn't repel him good enough? Well, alright, we're gonna retry, but... Misses one sh misses a shot once and dies, so true. Eat it some ass! Okay. Where I used to be about micro games, but now he's only about micro transactions. This is a lot about society. Re oh, hi, someone 2639. How are you? Are you making a hack for the Simple Flips competition that is coming up in 21 days, I believe? Okay, April 1st. I'll be very sad when 3DS servers shut down. I, there's uh, people maintaining them. Pretendo, I think, right? I, I saw a YouTube recommended video about that, but did not click it. But, I mean, people have maintained Mario Kart Wii servers, they've maintained a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, you weren't supposed to hit that guy, you weren't supposed to avoid him. Also, I, I do like how creative the concept of a ninja riding a skateboard down a big tube is, but they somehow made it work. I should submit Trimming Herb 64, that's a slide, right? Anything can be a slide if you believe hard enough. My slide hack is Mario uh, running around a s stupid little skate park type area. And the ground is very slidey. I changed like four values. Four values four values in the decomp or er, hacker rather to make Mario slide down slopes a bit faster. Hit Mars. The red planet! If I was colorblind, I would die there. But I guess it gives you an arrow. Primo means cousin in Spanish. I didn't pick fast enough. <laughs> My slide hack will be unconventional, that's all I'm willing to spoil. You'll defy conventions. Mario will be locked outside the convention center of the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> I don't know. Mario Beam! 
slide upward. I wanted to do that, but I'm not... I don't know any C. Even though she, she's been offered to um, help me code stuff, but I was like, no. I want to be an independent man who don't need no no help. <laughs> and look where that got me. Uh, not Probably not gonna finish the slide hack. I might just be like, yo, you can... Uh, Oh, this long-ass game. Look at my cat, she goes meow. I just had an epiphany. Elf 64 is the Pizza Tower Grin Trace of SM64. <laughs> so true. That- that hack literally was a slide hack. You slid down a stupid little elf-inspired- elf-inspired- a slide with elf textures. And- and I was dis disqualified for it. They- they hate to see a man win. They hate to see a dude win. Also, if you guys didn't know, I, I guess if you're not, like, tapped into the Simple Flips verse, his, his Discord, I guess, his hacker, hacker, um, what the heck is it called? Romhacking.com Discord server. Oh, th this thing comes at you now. The more difficult version of the micro game. Uh, Pirate Software is, like, sponsoring the competition. That's, like, the, I, he, he, like, makes Heartbound? And, like, I, I think he develops other stuff. Azuro said trans rights until Gen 5 because ga Game Freak is homophobic. So true. Um, if you guys didn't know, Azuril, the Pokemon, in it had, like, a different gender ratio than uh, Meryl and... Well, I guess just Meryl and Azumarill, but Meryl's the relevant one, so, like, sometimes when it evolved, it would randomly change genders, which is funny. What programming language do you use for hacks? The main language is C, um, for the decompilation. Uh, before the decomp existed, you used to have to know uh, how to program in assembly, which was quite a bit harder. Um, that being said, I don't actually know any C. Oh. Rare micro game. Um... Pirate Software is also, like, a security researcher. I wonder if we'll be checking for Project 64 1.6 hacks. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know, recently Project 64 1.6 and 7, people, like, found a bug in it where it could, like... I, what could it do? I actually don't know the specifics of it. It could, like, mess with your computer somehow. Um... Grr, I hate Simple Flips Discord. So, so true. Um, I, I'm not in that Discord much anymore. I just kind of hang out in the Mario Jam server. Because all my ROM hacking friends are also there, and I don't really need to use the ROM hacking discussion channels that often, because I don't make ROM hacks <laughs> unless there's a competition happening, which is uh, barely ever these days. But Simple's busy, uh, Axo doesn't want to run comps for reasons, and I'm also a busy dude! Oh shit, what is this? Oh, I'm like the- that's actually cool! You're like the other end of that minigame! You're, you're like on the receiving end of the of the thing, the uh, the press A to shoot. One out of four female Azuril changed the male when evolving. It was changed in Gen 5, so Azuril something something. So Azuril always keep their OG gender. Run any code you want on your computer uh, on Windows x86 to 64. Oh no! Did I did I hit a thing? No, I'm good. We're good. Um, I probably should not be in the Simpsons Discord as much anymore, but that's where... Where else am I going to repost dumb, uh, Homestuck stuff I find on Tumblr? I mean, you can post it in Mario Jams. There is no consequence. You will be banned. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure, like, half of General in Mario Jams likes Homestuck, like Jamie, uh, Arthur, and Axo. Well, I don't know if they like it, but they've read it. Boomer, too. Boomer, Duck Hat. Wheelie? What? Okay, I pressed up on the D-pad, because that's what I would intuitively do to Wheelie in a video game, but I guess you press the A button. Alright, I'm going to have a drink of what here? Yeah, there's a dedicated Homestuck thread Mario Jams I post in some time. Oh, dang! Oh yeah, I guess they have different threads there. Because I, I, I be keeping the anime thread unarchived for 400 days in a row or something like that. Yeah. Alright, time for hashtag retro games. I love 9 volts minigame selection. 
Stuck at home? LeMayo, just leave. Guys, home? The earth is a home. And stuck? Well, that's the same as bound. Earth bound? Home stuck? Cave story? Undertale? So vintage. Quite antiquated. Retroing out. I mean, this game is retro in, in and of itself, right? This game's 20 years old, 2003, or 21 this year. <laughs> like, how old was the NES when this game came out? 1983 the NES came out, so it would have been 20 years old. Oh god. This game's as old as the NES was when, the, when this game came out, Jesus. Oh god, we're so old, everyone. A game appears! A real gun. Mario 7? Is that the one I played? Oh, retro! We're so retro! I read the thing you responded to. Oh, this looks great on the Game Boy Advance. No, no. Gee. Wario would be a senior citizen by now if he if he allowed it. True. There should be a Yeek micro game in the next WarioWare. <laughs> so true, honestly. A real gun! A wooden gun! We're so old, everyone. Generation Alpha. I didn't get to read the second half of that. Generation Alpha 20 years in the skibbity toilet, the movie the game comes out. So true. This skibbity toilet? Work it? Work it? <sighs> Work it? No, I. No, oh, I missed! Press the A button to fire. It's so epic. Hit six. Oh, this game. This is like a toy that Nintendo made in the 70s or something, I'm pretty sure. I love the boss minigame for 9 volt in Mario Wear Touched where you have to shoot cans. That one's awesome. Ugh! We still hit those. Never lose a 9-volt game. The baseball minigame! Work it? Work it? Poop game. The window buster. <laughs> this just in! The GBA SP is here! Whoa. What a new piece of technology. Toys made by the guy that made the Game Watch and Metroid, if I'm not wrong. Gunpei Yokoi? Yokoi was so epic. Rest in peace. Holy cannoli, Mario is in this game! I think Simple has to play this for the 2D Mario thing now. <laughs> so true. I'm glad Simple got to play all the 2D Mario games, because for ages he was, he'd be like, Yeah, I never played that game. Yeah, I never played that game. <laughs> and I'm like, dang, you're missing out. Mario's a... I think we don't appreciate how consistently good the Mario series is, honestly. Like, I don't- like, is there a single bad 2D or 3D Mario game? I- I do be like a sunshine hater, but generally, like, that game's still not that bad. This game released a month after the GBA SP, therefore blatant advertising. I mean, is it really, like, that bad to advertise? A game or a system that this game is playable on, I guess. We're, we're going back into nine volt. Don't even. I don't even have to look at the micro game grid. There's, there's a heck of a lot of retro gaming to be had. Is there bad 2D Mario Lost Levels? Yeah, Lost Levels is okay. That that game didn't come out over here, so it's not real. It's it. It was. It's not a real video game. Uh. <laughs> no, I mean. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is not that bad. It's like, people are like, oh, the New Super Mario Bros. games are all, like, like only the first one's good or whatever. They're not bad individually, I just think people got sick of them because of how stale they got 
and they didn't innovate. Type 6. Well, that's that's easy when the cursor is just on 6. Someone says Mario 3D Land, I will commit it. 3D Land is great! Who, who the heck would say that it's bad? And SMB2 isn't a bad game, it's just mid. I have the cartridge for it laying around somewhere, I should replay it at some point. Super Mario Bros. Special, that's not an official Nintendo video game. GET THE BALL, SIR! I also have not played New Super Mario Bros. U, which I do want to at some point, just to say I have. But also, like, I'm not spending full price on it, because Nintendo still has that shit on the eShop for full price. Like, why? <laughs> like, that game is from a decade ago at this point. Just, like, put it on sale for, like, 20 bucks like any other studio would. Ice Climber! License means it's official. Okay, but Nintendo didn't make it. They didn't shake it, bake it, or make it. They just, like... They just told Hudson, yo, like, port our game to... to some... to some underpowered PC that can't do smooth scrolling, and they did. So is Mario Party not official? Okay, it's... Mario Party... It's an official game, but it's not... You wouldn't consider it a mainline 2D Mario game, right? I don't know. The balls disappear? What is this? Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby? Alright, we, we still win these. This really bad Bowser Mario game that goes on forever, and I used to play that in, on, in like, fourth grade LeMayo. Browser! That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo don't care. Look out! Oh yeah, this one, I, I hate the description for this one, because it's like, look out! It doesn't tell you to, like, go and traverse the area that you're looking out of. That would be a, an example of, like, a microgame that is not conveyed well to the player, I guess. Also voiced by Leslie Swan in this, he might be. Oh, difficulty! They should have a Goku to Smash, my brother in place. Christ just play Battle Stadium done! We did it. <laughs> the Yan Misoli Google Doc. That's still ongoing, I think. Cause they they th that video of how many Mario games there are is like outdated now because Wonder came out, and they have a whole new doc. My friend, Lyra, uh, went through the entire doc, uh, or Google form response sheet, to be more precise, and, um, it took, like, two hours! I think Jan Misili literally listed every single game that has Mario in the title, and even some that aren't, like Donkey Kong Country. Because technically, Mario's a spin-off of Donkey Kong. Ugh, invisible balls. Use the Mario wiki? Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, WarioWare games are also on the Mario wiki. Which I'm thankful for, because the Mario wiki is actually really good. It's not one of them wikias. I, uh, I, I hate wikia for how bad, like, the layout and ads and stuff are, and other such things. However, sometimes the content on wikias, which are made by users, are quite good. Such as the One Piece Wikia. I think there was a li weird licensed Mario gambling stuff in the form too. That does not surprise me. There's a bunch of weird Mario shit out there. <laughs> I mean, these days not as much, but, you know. Also, do you think... Actually, I wonder if you would consider the Mario theme park... Stomp the Goombas! We can't do it! 99% will fail. Um, the Mario theme park, I wonder if that would count as a Mario game, because there is apparently gameplay at the theme parks. There's like a Mario Kart ride or something. 
But I, how does that not count? There's a Mario Kart ride and you can take three? Oh, three. <laughs> Isn't Phantom the company behind Wikius coming for other reasons? Yeah, I, I watched the whole video on it by, I think it was Mossbag? It's, it's, it's a predominantly Hollow Knight YouTuber who made a video on how Wiki, uh, or Fandom sucks. Um, and, like, I know for the McDonald's wiki, McDonald's, the company, literally, um, they, they specifically freaking made the, um, Grimace page worse, just to advertise, like, the Grimace shake. Mario wiki, uh, the Mario wiki isn't run on wiki, it is something different. Yeah, it is a self-hosted wiki. We can exit this now. I don't know if, it, if it's self-hosted, it might be on, like, um, Mirazi or what? I, I don't know what it's called. There, there's, like, there are different wiki-making tools that are not fandom. Um, but yeah, Mario Wiki is not on fandom, but it is a really good and comprehensive wiki. Okay, it is a self-hosted media wiki, according to Kidders, and I believe them. Theme park. Did I say- what, what did I say other than theme- oh, team- you said theme park, Skawa. They took our cactus from the theme park. Theme- Pfft. I can read! McDonald's is straight trash. Like, 20 bucks for large big- I know, McDonald's- Me- McDonald's ain't cheap no more. Mario Wiki interface is super nice. It is! Fandom interface makes me want to delete every browser from- from existence. Jimmy's hair is a wig? Yeah! I crushed the alien! Oh yeah! <laughs> Help that the One Piece fan wiki becomes independent like the JoJo wiki. So true. Type Z. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, One Piece wiki is actually like pretty good in terms of information and like the speed that people put it on there. However, yeah, it's on fandom, so it sucks ass. Yeah. They should migrate. I, I, I never know how to do that game correctly. I always- I swear I pressed it at the apex of the dude's jump. I joined and immediately heard Jojo and Wendy. I'm sorry, Cow Quick. I- We'll talk about Evangelion in Persona. Uh... What was I gonna... Uh... What the- Yeah, it's just because someone- people were mentioning wikis and stuff. How, how is your compact going, Cowquack? I feel like I ask every ROM hacker in chat that question when they show up. Squirt! I never miss a squirt. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour! Mish Cause, what devil fruit would you like to have? Uh... That's actually a good question, let me think. Probably the flower flower fruit, just cause... I hate that one! I always... It's always like, oh, you didn't save the dummy. Just because having extra hands would be very useful for a bunch of stuff around the house. You know, I did the thing where I pressed up on the d-pad to try and wheelie. It's the most ha fun I've had working on a hack in a long time. Oh yes! Your your hack. I've seen it. I won't spoil it for chat. Um, yeah, it looked quite funny. <laughs> I mean, I guess you've also been in Hacklet's uh, development hell. If you guys in chat don't know, Hacklets is a series that Calquack runs where the YouTube comments can suggest one change for Mario 64 to make the game better and oftentimes worse. He's on episode 3 right now and uh, the game has been very uh, heavily changed by the comment section to be something quite funny. <laughs> you should watch you should watch Cowquack's channel, he's quite cool. Also, hi Pumpkin Volt, are you making a, comp a competition? Are you making a hack for the Simple Flips competition? And if so, how's it going? It has Mario? Hacklets is much less draining than I thought it would be. <laughs> have you, uh, have you implemented my epic Joker change? <laughs> Mike is trying to P-rank Blood Sauce in the, as the noise right now. That was such a CBT P-rank. Yet yeah, Blood Sauce is kind of weird for noise because he just bounces off every single wall in the level. But I, I was I was able I was able to do it. Oh, I hate this one. I pooped myself. I haven't started on the next episode yet. Well, I mean, yeah, but the Simple Fist Comp probably takes priority since that has like a set due date. I think it's funnier if I never- Oh yeah, I- Have you- Have you made a hack? 
you're in Mario Jams, so I, I just assume that everyone from Mario Jams makes a hack at some point. Wow. Are you trying to say the brown brick script you said this is the most fun I've ever had? It's the most fun you can have of making a hack. SpongeBob! I always thought this guy looked like SpongeBob when I was a kid. Go, 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 go. No! Okay, we're we're wow. that, that was way too aggressive of a reaction for a stupid little Wario or micro game. Spongebug. That's what they're that's what they should be called. A swing bob. Frunk Bob and Squarehead. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Dang, I've only been live for an hour and my voice is already pooping itself. Probably because I'm talking loudly into a microphone. Who would have thunk? <laughs> also because I just haven't streamed in a while and my my good old vocal cords. Misha, this game doesn't have Wario de Mambo? True. I'm surprised- I, I'm actually surprised I'm getting a relatively high- How is that not a good enough? I'm surprised a ton of people are in chat for, for being a weeknight. A Wednesday night, to be more specific. Finish! Oh, you get a second chance, hippie. This one's legitimately challenging. Cowquack summoned you. Ding. You two would find each other in any universe. <laughs> Squirt. Pro squirter here. Oh, 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 oh. God, I think the counterpart to that micro game in WarioWare touched, um, I was never good at it. Where you have to spin the screen. Another, the, another Winnie the Pooh's home run derby. Okay, I pressed the A button to wheelie, but it didn't, I didn't wheelie good enough, I guess. <laughs> oh, this, this dude again. I love the Jimmy T sounds that Jimmy T does, so true. Wario, hello QJ. Are you making a hack for the Simple Flips competition? And if so, how's it going? Wario. We got a Wario chain in chat. Type Wario in chat to... to... No, the chain has been broken. I'm only here for Wario. Who isn't, really? We all love Wario in this household. Oh yeah, nice beat. Damn, he's got the goat on speed dial. Move on to the next three, man. Everyone says Wario this, Wario that, but no one acknowledges how nice, how nice hairstyle he has, but it's a wig. He's got a wig on. Cat? Orbulon? Or Krygor? Uh, thinking we go... Orbulon. Fork Knights are the worst! They're not that bad, I think the... God, who's like the worst enemy in Pizza Tower? Probably ones that just like the the pizzas in in oh oh shit. Those are the worst enemies because they just they jump scare you and they don't get scared easily and they they make you drop your combo and I hate them. So he's just bald and I guess. Hello, Mishu. Welcome to Fortnite. I'm in Fortnite. No way. Everyone feels like a fake character. Ding Dong would create. Who who the heck is Ding Dong? Just parry SMH. True! You even get an achievement for parrying... for parrying Fork Knights. The smoker guys in Pig City are the worst. Are they? They're not... I mean, you just kick 
brick at them and they they die. I think. Poor. Oh, only 1% can solve this. Mishu WarioWare vid. Uh, it's, it's about Wario in general. That is all I'll say. I mean, I guess it's not a secret, it's it's part of the Patreon poll. Oh, oh geez. Only 1% can solve. Ding Dong was someone who was on OnlyPlays but left. That tells you that I don't know anything about OnlyPlays. Dang, all these Orbulon games are, like, find the difference. Only 99% will fail, 1% can solve. This game is stinky, terrible, cool. I mean, it is stinky because it's Wario, but it is pretty cool, too. Oh, yeah, I guess Orbulon is kind of more chibi in more recent games, but... Watch out! The horrors! But a lot of, uh, the art style is very clean in the newer WarioWare games, I feel. Mishu, are you talking about the November 15th? Was it that long ago? Jesus. Yeah, it tells you how, how, how many videos I've uploaded this year. Uh, zero! It's been zero! Uh, I mean, I have, I have just been shwerking. Oh god. This is actually 1%, 100% will fail. I think it's this one. I, I failed. I am 99% will fail. The dude! The duder! Oh god, uh, it's, it's squids. Squids versus octopuses. What are your thoughts on the Krusty Krab <laughs> Uh, I think, I think that Squidward should not have bought uh, a fake pie from a pirate. That was very immoral of him to do and feed it to Spongebob. The card mark game's the worst. Three turtle steals heavier than feathers. Penser? Pensers get scared of you quite easily, but they're just fork knights on crack. Oh, this- the Fantasy Star micro game. It's a hungra. What will you do? Pile driver. Oh, this is the can you read <laughs> micro game. Spongebob should have boarded the Ava. <laughs> so true. Soup was not correct. I'm a weirdo. It killed me! My world got rocked. Alright, we gotta we gotta not read chat. We have to have our full brain power to to defeat the can you read challenge. Almost it almost got me. Also, I immediately read chat. <laughs> and didn't see the thing. It's on the ropes! Time and press A. <laughs> the coup de gras. I was trying to do a P rank of Don't Make a Sound last night, and always spinned into the mushroom animatronic like an absolute dumbass while on lap two. It was heartbreaking. Dang. Rip in peace. Noise. He got jump scared. Wait, is the is the September October fest Easter egg still the same in noise mode? Cause Peppino is usually on it. Incredible 3D graphics! So true. I've been ad jump scared four times now. I don't mind if y'all use ad block on my streams or video. I guess if you're on mobile then you can't. I know YouTube wants to make you buy premium, but fuck him! Oh wait, no, didn't they kill Adblock or something? I don't remember. I think Oktoberfest has changed, but I'm not sure. The Oktoberfest graphic is indeed different for noise. Yippee! Most Adblocks. I mean, I use Ublock Origin. Dong Dong! They can't say that in a Nintendo game. Dong? That's like saying Dong twice. U-Block is cracked, so true. You can even use it on Firefox Mobile, which I highly recommend. The fact that Chrome Mobile still doesn't have extensions is criminal. I don't know if they do, I haven't... 
Ramen is fan- but, What? But I mean, I guess that's me. Oh wait, it says- it said Haze. I'm supposed to talk shit on myself. Three equals D? New Dong City. Adbox still works on Firefox. It just messes with Chromium browsers, I'm pretty sure. Dang. Normal Game Boy Advance. On the right. Ape-like pattern recognition, truly. Monkey brain. What? I thought I had to hit it twice. Because he, he strummed twice. That's my bad. Isn't Dong Dong like some janky fighting game game Grapefruit played? Maybe. Uh, I'm bad. I'm actually gonna lose before we even get to the boss. Tomato. Yay, it gave me an easy one for my ape brain. Up left. Uh, the last thing I accomplished in, um, in a thing in Pokemon Crystal No Damage was I beat Claire, and then we got the... We, we tried to get the Dratini leveled up because it having extreme speed is pretty good. Then I got hit by a Krabby. Uh, we're losing. We're not losing, we're good. I got hit by a Krabby using Bubble and I ended stream. <laughs> Because <laughs> it was, it was so crushing. Um, I need to play that again at some point. Link. Oh, I've never played that game in my life. This is a Splatoon reference. The Dracini disaster incident. Meow. Still me the Umbreon. I I don't think we're gonna use the Umbreon. Unfortunately, we might for the Elite Four, but probably not. Dumbreon. Honk pouch? What is that, like a fucking bra? A pouch for your honkers? <laughs> I mean, I guess you would use your eyes if you want to be a good battler. Right? Like, you'd have to look at the thing. A spike pouch from the Thousand Year Door, but somehow worse. Uh, I should play Thousand Year Door, potentially the remake, but I don't know if I want to spend full price on a fucking upscaled GameCube game. But I also have, I haven't bought like a whole ass Switch game since, uh. I'm gonna lose! Okay, never mind, I'm correct. I haven't bought a full Switch game since WarioWare, move it, fittingly. Can you find the octagon? We d oh, we have to do two of them. <laughs> my chip, my it goes in the square hole. Brain didn't uh, didn't understand. Okay, one, two, three. F I think we're good. Okay, thank God. Someone say Pikmin two. I should play the Pikmin games. I know they're all on Switch. Okay, down, right, left. Yay. Misha, what if I told you you can be Wario in Thousand Year Door? Yeah, I know, you can equip badges and make Mario look. What? Can I can't count, apparently? Yeah, you can equip badges to make yourself look like different Mario characters. Which is like the only time Waluigi's appeared in like a non-spin-off, right? Or I guess... I guess? Uh, Thousand- or Paper Mario is a fucking spin-off, but... First time Wario or Waluigi have technically appeared in a RPG game. Nintendo. Get get on here, you bacterium. <laughs> what is this? What? What do I? I guess I I I did it. Oh oh heck! I think it's right here. <laughs> it's like twenty different OSHA violations. Every... every micro... And Wario, his whole company is an OSHA violation, isn't it? The balls and cups. The most classic of magic tricks, according to Penn & Teller. 
I think. Penn and Teller's shithead basketball is real. Oh god. This steel's heavier than feathers. I did it. Pikmin games are very good if you like the fun part of multitasking. Uh, press A? What the fuck? <laughs> that, that's an insane micro game. I've never played that one before. Yeah, I don't know, like, I mean, I've never played an RTS, I know Pikmin is basically that. It's the refiller. <laughs> ranch, dunch, or punch. Well, ranch would be epic. I have 666 HP, I'm the devil. This quote steals heavier than feathers to this day, so true. It's such a good bit. Pikmin fans looking at ants carrying things and saying, Yo, peak gameplay! I'm Pikmin fans, says QJ Rocks. I had to learn about OSHA, I learned about PP and whatnot. I think everyone has to learn about OSHA for like their job. Well, like here in fucking Canada, we don't have OSHA. It's something different that I don't remember. Oh, 1%. 100% will fail. No, I failed. I am. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go with seven. If it's not right, then we're done with Orbulon. It's six! Do you own the cat? Does the cat own you? It's you that owns the cat, you daffy bastard. <laughs> Alright, we'll do... Cot. Fuck Krygor. No, I don't, I don't own anything against Krygor. I like the one where he just runs around screaming like a drunkard. I've not watched enough Limmy stuff. I've watched him say purple, purple burglar alarm, which is hard for Scottish people to do, apparently. <laughs> Prince Ramen must be saved. That's me. The evil skull swordsman. He's going to kill me. A letter on a carrier pigeon? This is just like the first chapter of Mother 3. Or like the zeroth chapter, I guess. Oh my god, she's like... She's like dead. Is Misty now a ninja? Sure, Misty Pokemon. The Zeroith Ranger. Does it say Power Rangers? Ninja Girl, save me! <laughs> she doesn't have a name? <laughs> That's her sister, right? Zeroith Ranger is a good shmup. I, have all, I also need to play shmups that are not just the final micro game in uh, Jimmy T's thing. Dang, this is a long ass intro. I just noticed that the person in chat, their name is Gengaria. Like Gengar and Gengar and Diarrhea, which is very funny. If that's not the intention, then I'm very sorry. <laughs> but if it is, then lol. Rockruff's German name is Waffles. I think that's nice. Lickitung's German name is Schlurp! My favorite German Pokemon name, and also the only one I know. I need to play shrimps that aren't the final boss of Kirby in the Amazing Mirror. <laughs> so true. My favorite shoot 'em up is Sonic Frontiers, if you know, you know. I don't know. I've never played Sonic Frontiers. I should, though. Apparently, it's actually pretty good. Ligma. Did you know that chameleons don't use their camo- their they don't use their color changing ability for camouflage. Also this one is a vocal track. They use it for emotion, which is stupid. They should use it for camouflage. Good work. Good work. No, it faked me out! They should use it for pure style, so true. What is it? I can't read Japanese. Fuck does that say? I guess it says sp speed up. 
Played Frontiers when it came out, it's pretty fun. It's a ton of updates now. Oh, yeah, I've heard. It's the source of the V emote in the Skawo server. We did it. Oh, it's like Kirby Star Allies with how the updates are handled, as in the base. Was the base game empty and then they just gave gave it contact content that is makes it worthwhile the the i can speak english they gave it updates that made the price tag more worthwhile is what i think when i hear kirby star allies style updates oh i hate this one but i still did it millions of artists die their scales freak out and they become a psychedelic rainbow of death that is cool, I actually didn't know that. I think the other day I like had the random like thought of what happens to Chameleon's skin after death. Untranslatable Japanese idiom! True. Feels like something was missing. Oh, the base game of um, Frontiers. What? <laughs> Yeah, especially how they changed the poop in that one micro game to a gem makes it so much more brain fucky. That is true, actually, because you'd want to grab a gem in real life. You wouldn't want to grab a stupid little cherry. Oh, is this the boss mini game? It is. What a jovial little song. Mish loves seeing chameleons die. Damn. I mean, I was just curious, because I think, like, um, my sister was talking about preserving animal skins, because she loves shit like that. She doesn't hunt animals, because, you know, that would be evil, but <clears throat> she likes finding dead animal bullshit. Um, and she was talking about, like, snake skins, and I think I was asking about chameleon skins then. But I said Ghosts are both games, by the way, not empty, but it feels like they want to do more. I played Star Allies literally one time at my old friend's house, and we beat it in one sitting. This was like when it came out, before any meaningful updates, I think. <laughs> meow meow, I'm a Pokemon-loving weirdo, and I'm new here. Welcome! Uh, I love Pokemon too, and some would call me a weirdo. I have played Pokemon on this stream before, trying to beat Pokemon Crystal without taking any damage. Uh, it's been... God, how many years has it been? <laughs> it's been, like, something like four years now, maybe? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is the, this is the pre-boss music from Wario Land 4. I love that song. I actually fucking love that song, dude. <gasps> Wait! They used the fucking unused variant, too. Let's hope the Star Allies Forgotten Land pattern holds for Frontiers. You mean the next Sonic game will be insanely- I mean, wasn't Sonic Superstars kinda eh? I guess that was a 2D Sonic game and it wasn't a 3D one, so... You know, it hasn't happened yet. Sonic fans deserve a good game after this long? They do. Sonic Adventure 3. Make it happen. I think Pokemon lovers are just naturally weird. <laughs> so true. Superstars isn't real. Shush. I have not played it. I might at some point if it goes on sale, but I've heard that the bosses are, like, genuinely horrible. <laughs> I recognize the song from a video of yours. Yeah, it was in the famous Iceberg video. I like Star Rallies on the basis that it jingles keys in the face of longtime Curry fan like me, but on the other hand, it's not very good. Yeah, I mean, it was a... I know it was meant to be a big celebration of Kirby's whatever-ith anniversary or something. So, for, in that sense, it's fine, and also it has a lot of fan service. You can play as all the classic characters. Superstars was sort of whatever, and releasing it so close to Wonder did not help at all. Yeah, that's true. Mario Wonder kind of stole the show for 2D platformers, I guess. I think I still think Pizza Tower is the better 2D platformer of 2013. Hi, I play hacker. Both Star, Star Allies and Frontiers are good. I have an odd appreciation for games that people tend to be kind of mixed on. I can, I can see that. I, I kind of do, too. 2013? My favorite Pokemon is Glalie. Dang. My favorite Pokemon 
is now Tyranitar because people on the internet are very weird about Vaporeon and I can't openly admit that Vaporeon is is a, a cool Pokemon. That being said, I have played more competitive Pokemon and Vaporeon. All most of the evolutions are kind of dog shit and competitive, so so I've Tyranitar has been great for most generations. R.I.P. Tyranitar in Gen 9. I wish he was better. But, you know, Gen 9 is kind of a... kind of a horribly power crept generation. I, I should... I love this game, you just smash A. I should play Showdown on stream sometime. Just so I can... I can... I can mauled about random battle RNG. Most evolutions are decent in Gen 3. I mean, Jolteon... Jolteon's always been pretty alright, right? For the first few generations, just because... Wow, it's really fast, and it hits decently hard. My favorite is Giratina, because I'm basic... But Giratina's a cool... cool Pokémon. I wouldn't say that's like a basic bitch favorite. Giratina's sick, it's like a huge... like, Satan dragon. I think competitive Pokemon will be forever incomprehensible to me, but I love hearing about it. If you've played a Pokemon game, it's not that bad to learn about competitive. However, in-game knowledge, definitely- Oh, that is the wrong end of the car. In-game knowledge is... is... what am I trying to say? In-game, you are- all you need to do is swap out and use the super effective attack. Competitive, there is like so many more layers to stuff. Um, it's it's a whole different beast. Like all like a bunch of moves that are kind of useless in single player are are very useful in competitive and vice versa. Um, I don't know. Competitive is cool. I I think it is neat and it is not that hard to get into. Just because showdown is is epic. This micro game is weird as hell. Even as a kid playing this, I was like, what the heck? What the heck were they cooking with this one? <clears throat> mm. Hello, one to Luma. I'm just saying because of Vox Art Legend, I love Giratina, though. Oh no, it's gonna poop, poop rocks on the earth. The evil vase. Recover is useless in playthroughs, you can just use Fuller Store, but in competitive recover is god. Not sure if that technique is a name, per se. In the time between part 8 of Damage's Crystal and this stream, I have somehow become a competitive Mario Kart 8 player. Dang, nice. Uh, game does a lot, and I think more games should do that. It looks cool. WarioWare? I agree. Oh, escape theme for Mario Land 4. Yippee. There's no Gen 8 and Gen 9 in Bossing, say. Wait, did I say 2013 when I was saying... Best games of 2023? I cannot count, I cannot remember years, I cannot read. What else can I not do? Oh, Cohesive Storytelling! The the pigeon! From, from Kat and Anna's story. I was talking about when they got a bunch of photographs and then compressed them. Oh yeah, for WarioWare. I did? I did say 2013. That's so epic. <laughs> Damn, Krager just swims to the... Gelateria. Not really a competitive epic gamer, so to say, but it feels weird to be, to be one after years of hearing about Melee and stuff. Melee is also very cool. Um, I wish I played competitive melee, like, in person and stuff. I could probably find tournaments if I actually wanted to, but, you know. Or just, you know, you Slippy. Another Jimmy one! Time to see me suffer and be bad at them. I haven't been going back into the Orbulon and Cat and Prager things, have I? Because we need to 100% this shit. Daisy has more than three eyes of melee. It's true! It's because they didn't, uh... They didn't clamp the eye texture. Rookie mistake! Can you tell that the game was developed in 13 months? <laughs> I love living in 2014. Can't wait for Five Nights at Freddy's. What? Oh, I have to hit, I have to talk shit. I'm so dumb. Play like 10 minutes for this on Switch Online and that's it. I need to return it. Return to it! Alright. WarioWare? It is pretty epic. 
I just wish the actual single player side Pokemon had even a fraction of the depth the competitive had. So true! Up, down, left. Like, I understand why they want to make the single player easy, and apparently the DLCs for Scarlet and Violet are somewhat difficult, but they really should make a genuine hard mode. What am I doing? I got psyched up by that one message where it was talking about the poop. I, I'm actually gonna exit and replay this later after I've done more of Krygor and um I haven't done it I haven't done most of these dang we'll play cats you turn my switch online to Nintendo physically I will talk to their headquarter and demand a refund if only if only we could do that good work good work Pokemon games are so rushed melee devs hold my hold my wave dash the thing with melee is that like, because it was rushed, it turned into this, like, s like unintentionally deep, um, competitive experience. When Pokemon games are rushed, it's just fucking sad, because it's like... Oh, shit. That's actually cool. You have to press the button that corresponds to. When Pokemon games are rushed, it's just sad. It could have been good, because you're the highest grossing media franchise ever. Or whatever. I will walk across the ocean to Kyoto if I had to. Luma confirmed to be Jesus? gonna fake me out! It didn't. And everyone says single player is maybe easy mode, so I'd just like to know if I get obliterated if I risk that foot in it. If you know how tight matchups work, QJ, you will never... You will win at single player Pokemon. It is basically as simple as that. If you just, like, know, like, okay, fire beats grass, and rock beats fire, and that for, like, 17 different types, you, you will you will be fine. I never tried walking on water. You'll never know unless you try. I love the visual style of that mini micro game. I will become Jesus for the purpose. Based. Alright, catch fruit. We did it, guys. We caught the fruit. You know, I tried Brilliant Diamond. I tried, but Brilliant Diamond got hands. Dang. I mean, I think the modern games do tell you if um, a move is super effective or not, so that kind of helps. But I, don't, I think Arthur was talking about this shit in Mario Jams, how he's like, oh, do I have to just, like, memorize a stupid 17-type chart, and then the games are, like, piss easy, and it's like, well, I guess so, yeah. Like, every Pokemon fan I know has pretty much been playing since they were, like, five years old, <laughs> myself included, and... We all just have the type chart ingrained into our brains. And like some like even if you don't know Pokemon's type, you can sometimes just tell by looking at it, like, okay, if it's a fish and it's blue, it's probably a water type, right? <laughs> I've had to recruit a friend to help me with my playthrough and the champion battle still Oh my god, yeah, the champion battle for Brilliant Diamond. Like the entire game is easy and then the Elite Four is just hell for no reason. <laughs> it's so it's such a weird difficulty spike. Yeah, the friendship mechanic kind of carries people through the through the Elite Four. That was, like when J Rose is doing his challenge run for only using a Bidoof in Brilliant Diamond, he had to abuse the friendship mechanic. I find it funny how serious this mode is compared to everything else in the game. I mean, it wouldn't be a Wario game without some tonal whiplash, right? My little cousin found Diantha and. Found Diantha hard, and I thought, wow, he's feeling what we all felt when like, beating Cynthia for the first time. Battling Cynthia, even. The resistance and tight matchups are actually the most important thing to remember in Pokemon. That is true to an extent, I guess, like if you want to switch into a super effective move. Or you want to switch out of a... I didn't even get to a chance to parse what that minigame was, what the hell. I mean, playing him since probably been like 15 star with Emerald, but got way more attached to Crystal Red after. Finally, someone who enjoys Johto, the Johto games, like a true blue good person. I don't know what to call them. People, Zoomers hate Johto so much, and I'm a Zoomer, and I'm like, fuck, dude. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and, and even Gold, Silver, Crystal are like really good games, in my opinion. 
I don't, like, the hate is so, like, overblown. But that's a whole other topic. Luxray should be Electric Dark? Yeah, it totally should be. It's such a middling Pokemon and it didn't have to be. And it has such a cool design and they've, like, never buffed it. Don't necessarily mind the concept of Pokemon doing better uh, if you treat them well, but I don't like how it's handled, especially in Brilliant Dent. Well, I think the problem was that, okay, in they've had this mechanic since, like, Gen 6, but it was tied- it was always tied to, like, a different minigame. So, in that sense, it was fine. And then in Brilliant Diamond, they they were just too fucking lazy to program a different minigame in. Like, like, Sword and Shield had, like, the feeding them curry, the 3DS games had the thing where you pet them on the bottom screen, but Brilliant Diamond was just like, fuck it, we're gonna combine it with happiness, which is your friendship. There's friendship and affection. Th they just combined it with friendship, which has been a mechanic since Gen 2, which all you do to raise friendship is, like, what? All you do to raise friendship is just play the game normally. Like, you, you literally gain friendship by walking. Um, so you can't not raise friendship. You actively have to try to lower your friendship. Which is like... So that's why in Brilliant Diamond Ch Shining Pearl, it actively gets in the way of the game if you want to make it harder on yourself. Hello, Mackie! It's been ages since I've streamed and therefore I've seen you in here. Looks like shouldn't be Electric Dark, nothing about it suggests that they're evil. I mean, I don't think- I, I know Dark is literally the evil type in Japan, but a lot of Pokémon that are associated with darkness are Dark type, and Luxray's whole thing is it can see, like, through walls and in the dark and stuff. So I think- oh, I didn't see the shark. So, I don't know, it being Dark would be kinda cool, and it could use Crunch. Oh, Yuri Geller! I see your Discord statuses every every once in a while and they make me laugh. I'm glad someone appreciates my stupid little brain thinking thoughts. Oh, you're a Saiyan, alright. Just not a super one. Hearing Crystal remind me I was gonna shiny hunt Selby in Virtual Console release and send it to home before it gets deleted from existence. I mean I think bank still works? Like, I don't know if the server- actually, yeah, they might be fucked if the servers die, but again, there is pretendo that is going to be a thing, apparently, to preserve the 3DS online functionality. Also, can I just say that I find it really fucking- I hate it to no end that in modern Pokemon we have to do these subscription services to transfer our old mods, whereas for- Gens 3, 4, and 5, it was all built into the games themselves, like, like, transfers from Gen 3 to Gen 4. There's the PAL Park, you literally just use the bottom slot on OG DS or DS Lite. Gen, Gen 4 to Gen 5, you just do download play with two DS systems. Most people, like, probably have a friend who has a DS, and if not, if you probably have a 3DS if you're a lifelong Pokemon fan, and therefore can still do the transfers. Gen 5 to Gen 6! There is the transfer tool that's an eShop thing. Bad fucking idea, because once the eShop goes down, you can't access that anymore. Gen 6 and 7 to modern games, you have to use bank. Bad idea. It's like so stupid. Pick a cat. I almost picked the whale. Once the eShop goes down. You know what I mean, the eShop's already down. I didn't do it correctly, I'm bad. Pokemon Home is such a scam, by the way, $16 for essentially the exact same app as Bank. I totally fucking agree. Um, there's that Google Rewards thing on your phone, you just do like little stupid surveys. They're like, did you go to this store? And I'm always like, no, I've never been there! Um, but they give you like 10 cents a piece, if not more. Um, anyway, I just use that currency to pay for the fucking home app. Was Pokemon Sleep actually a thing or I hallucinate? Pokemon Sleep was announced like two years before it existed, and then like they released it last year, I think. They have, in the newest Pokemon Presents, they, they were like, there's gonna be an update, you can catch Raikou in... 
Pokemon Sleep, and I'm like, that's awesome, guys. Real great use of your presentation time. I hate this micro game. I'm always bad at it. Pretend it wouldn't work on Bank, though, because Home would definitely not have a compatibility anymore. Their Pokemon Company would know something's up. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. That sucks, dude. I mean... Ugh. No! I didn't cut the... I want to save a long dead time bombs every day like it! So fucking true. I don't... I have not downloaded Pokemon Sleep on my phone, for the record. God, I've only been going an hour 45. And we're almost done the main game. I'm still re download purchase games with DSi and Wii Shops. Believe it or not, but who knows how long that will last. I transferred all my old Wii shit to my Wii U, which I have plugged in. It's right next to my Switch on my desk. Um, so I could probably... Actually, there's nothing on my Wii. My old Wii save that I would actually need to access. We're gonna Pokemon Sleep is a thing now. I have no idea what even... It's like an app that tracks your sleep, I think. Uh, I don't know. In, like When you're sleeping, you can catch Pokemon in it, so that's epic. Please let's let Legend Z, eh? I'm tired of embracing the spirit 24-7. I agree so much. The fact that it's you only explore the, si the one city is worrying, but I don't know. I am like coping and hoping that it, that means the scope is small and therefore Game Freak can actually handle it and it's not dog shit. But it's Game Freak, so, um, you know, they, if nothing else, they consistently disappoint. <laughs> Mishkaz, if you're reading this right now, I'm currently taking the hardest, fattest, meanest shit I've ever had in my entire 20 years of livelihood. Uh, I believe in you. You can do it. You can poo it. We're playing the Toilet Me game right now. Can you believe it? This is so thematic. Spoiler alert, AZ, AZ will be dog shit. I hope not. Er, it's ZA. Oh, it's AZ's name backwards. I have instantly died when I heard about the city thing, lol. So true. Are they showing any gameplay yet? No. I mean, it's two years away. It's 2025. Feel hated for needing the phone plugged in while you sleep? I mean, I plug my phone in anyway when I sleep. Like, you need it plugged into your charger? That's, I think that's what most people do, right? <laughs> that thick state, goddamn. I hit up on my D-pad! Oh, we sleep that we sleep these cats. Me forgetting it's 2024. Oh shit, it is. No, it's 2026. That game's coming out, right? I'm stupid. Well, Mish cause you probably get this a lot. But you ever get tired of being known as the ice iceberg guy? No. I mean, it's cool being recognized in YouTube comments and shit. Where I'll just comment on some random video and people be like, "Yo, it's the iceberg guy." It feeds my stupid ego. Um, but no, like, I don't know. I wouldn't have a YouTube career if not for that iceberg, so I'm always appreciative of it. Anyway, let's do the second Jimmy one. Bro has not played Rhythm Heaven. It's true, I haven't. I should, though. Apparently they are quite good. Is 2025 the game coming out? I, I don't know years. Oh wait, no, it's... The reason I thought it was two years is because Scarlet Violet released at the end of 2022, and everyone thought, oh, there's gonna be a mainline game this year, 2024. There is not, which is good. So hopefully that means ZA will have a long development period. I know Mishu is the Wario simp guy. That is an honorable thing to be known as. I do simp for Wario. Yeah, please, sir. Seeing Mishu randomly in YouTube comments on videos I, I watch is always a fun experience. I'm glad. I'm glad that you derive joy from me. From my stupid little Mishu Mishuisms. Speaking of games releasing early, I was really hoping the remake of TTYD would be late 2024 and not in May. I mean, it's just a it's it's a simple remaster. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Oh shit! That mouse evaded my ass. Or the Elf 64 iCarly Death Sky. So true. I made all known gifts on iCarly last December. Can you believe it? The joke. The joke. I made. I iterated on the joke. I always thought it was pronounced Mish and not Mish my whole life. Everyone thinks that when they first read my name. What having a stupid, uncommon Polish name does to a motherfucker. <laughs> it was always like a like 1 in 10 chance that a teacher would ever 
pronounce my name correctly in school. I had a teacher who, like, always called me Misha, which is, like, a way more common version of my name. Um, I, I, I failed this game twice in a row. Um, and I, that always pissed me off, because, like, kids would fucking laugh when she would, um, when she would call out the fucking names. It was my, it was my grade 8 music teacher. Grr. Screw you, Mrs. Poopyhead. I'm not doxing my teacher on stream. Ghost trick? In Chilean, Mish is something you say after seeing someone pleasantly surprising. He's like saying, huh, nice. Dang, I'm, 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 huh, nice. That is cool trivia to know. Watermelon buzz the watermelon bouncing off the guy is the best minigame. I totally agree. That's it's such a funny I somehow got that, that I pulled that one out of my butt. Wario would never get your name wrong. He did, he chose my name as Ramen at the beginning. Have you checked out any Wario content? I like Hot Spice and Loot Spits. I think I have watched um the first guy. No, I thought I. Nice per. Huh? Nice is a perfect descriptor of my channel. Aw, thank you. You should go full circle and do an iceberg video on every video you've posted on YouTube. Oh my god. There's some like random privated slash unlisted ones that are stupid <laughs> that y'all have never seen. I always forget the Undertale dog sound effect is just a stock asset. I guess it's in oh, this, isn't yeah. it, huh? No, I did it the wrong way. Where would the baby Metroid go on the Mishu Iceberg? Oh my god. That was ages ago. Probably in like tier 3 or 4. I pressed the A button! I blame latency. Oh! Steve Universe dropped the strawberry. Oh fuck, uh, yeah, baby squids. I Carly Death Iceberg. I- I hate. I hate. Uh, Mish is also used when someone does something you never expect them to do, but you are pleasant, pres pleasantly surprised by them. Mish! Holy cow, it's the micro game from Smash. True. Alright, this one's free. I said it was free! <laughs> <laughs> I almost got hubris. Wow. It said head. It said head. It didn't say hand. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> that has horrible implications now, uh, Mr. Egg. I guess because of all the shit Gotti has done in the last few years. So. Uh, that would be like below the fucking iceberg. Oh, yeah. You don't want to trip until you've tend to program SM64 in a 2D game engine as a top down 2D game. Oh my god. It's a top down, not side scroller. That sounds difficult, to say the least. Though I guess you could steal from the decomp now. Because that's in C. And you can steal Mario's movement code, which is what people did to mo mod Mario into Sonic Generations. I should play that on stream. I know Cybershell has played it, and everyone says I'm Canadian Cybershell, so I really gotta copy all his content, you know? Also, I showed my sister the Netlore episode on uh, the Cybershell narrating the Pepsi uh, design design pitch for the Pepsi logo. It is so funny. Fucking funny, dude! Cybershell's like the perfect guy. I have failed that every time. Cybershell is literally the perfect guy to have narrated that that pitch document. It is so funny. Top down SM64 sounds like a more advanced Mario and Luigi. I'm pretty sure Vinny played a shitty top down 2D Mario 3D platformer at some point. Uh, which one's lined up like a fucking duder? No, I was gonna pick the rightmost one. There's a Lemon Demon song based on it. I did- I- Clarith posted that in the Mario Gems General and I listened to it. It was quite a good song. 
Hey, hey, oh yeah. I hope you'll have mod SA1 Sonic and his stuff like the like Mario 64. If, I don't know, has that game been decompiled? Because if so, then that would make it easier to mod him into things, but if not, then people would not. Is this another boxing? Yeah, it's another boxer. <laughs> Cyber Shelvin, instead of being obsessed with Sonic, he's obsessed with a German Italian guy, aka Wario. That is true. I mean, when my friend and I were going through the Jan Missily um, document or Google Forms thing, asking you like which Mario games are mainline Mario games, it was such a trip down memory lane looking through the Mario games from the 2000s and stuff, being like, oh my god, how many Mario games have I played or as a child, and how have they like influenced my life? Is so many. Like, so, like, Mario is such a huge fucking part of my life, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So despite being a, a huge Wario fanatic, I'd say... I don't know, I guess I'd be a Mario fan at, at heart. I, I'm thumping my chest, I don't know if that's picking up on the mic. Mario lives... right here. In my... titties. <laughs> my man titties. I like the fax lore where Cybershell went full ADHD about history of fax machines. That sounds funny as hell. I have to watch more of the Netlore podcast at work. Sonic fans belong in the Arkham Asylum, so there's definitely something wrong with the SA1 decomp. There's definitely someone working on an SA1 decomp. I, w I wouldn't doubt it, but I don't know. 3D games are probably harder to mod than 2D games, because I know like all the 2D Sonics are like super modded, and I think they've been decompiled. I don't know if that's true. I might be talking out of my butt. Mario controls Mishu like a mech. That's so true. I wouldn't have it any other way. I find it crazy that the modern Mario renders were only 20 years ago. Were they? I mean, they, they, they always update them. Right? Like, people always go on about... Like, oh my god, Nintendo makes their, their, their modeling people work so hard on the renders, they have, like, individual hairs. Guys, or, like, they have individual, like, like, random bits of string on their, like, caps and their overalls. You can literally just set materials. You can have, uh, what is it, material nodes in Blender to, like, automatically do that for you. And I'm sure other 3D software has that, where the program literally does it for you. <laughs> so, you know. You don't have to individually model every single hair on things. Oh, Wario Brothers! Default Yoshi render next to the new Yoshi render of Mario Wonder be like. That's so true! They literally... They 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 reused one random Yoshi render for, for some reason. I guess they might have... Um, game theory, one color of Yoshi was, was added late in development. Oh shit! It's the left D-pad. Smash Bros. minigame. Wario neutral Wii. Mario having individual hair. Individual hair fabric pattern is so funny when these also has plastically skin and big goofy eyes. Honestly, I think it, like, somehow works. Like, Nintendo made it work. Smash Bros. Brawl Render. Oh, it's <laughs> I, I hate the Brawl Renders. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm such a meanie. I feel like like I get I tend to get sick of seeing Smash renders like years after the game is released, and then every time a new Smash game releases, they feel fresh. But I have not gotten tired of seeing the Ultimate renders; they're actually quite quite good. I feel. Oh, it's asset mis mismatch, Mixels. Oh, I thought you're supposed to jump. <laughs> Mish, cause you're now my mortal enemy. I know I'm so evil, QJ. Brawl Render Mario is genuinely so funny. It's a funny-ass render, but it's like... <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't like the, like, realistic style that they went for for most of these characters. It just does not look that good. I didn't avoid. How many times have we had to play this fucking grab minigame, dude? And this one, too. God, these are too fast. I have to, I have to lock in. <laughs> Shoulder bash! Rare WarioWare reference- Wario Land reference in WarioWare. I guess it's not that rare, but... You know, I think it's 
cool whenever it happens. They referenced Wario Land 4 in fucking Wario Move It. I'm so happy. They referenced Cractus. Also, I was so bad at this minigame as a kid. I'll probably die as an adult. The final boss ones are always, like, long as hell. Ha! Smash 4 renders fucking gets me angry due to how everywhere the games were. I mean, what was it? The Smash 4 renders were also kind of bad just because they were meant to be amiibos. Me Brawler's ami uh, render for Smash 4 is literally my least favorite Smash render of all time. <laughs> Look it up right now. I will still be playing WarioWare. <laughs> you can look it up, I believe in you. What do you think that person does to Tiny Wario after catching him in the cake micro game? Probably eats him. <laughs> I don't know why that was my first thought, I totally caught that. <laughs> Chat's moving too fast. It's not moving that fast, it's just I'm locking in on these WarioWare games. Chat's moving so fast, no one will know I'm gay. I- I- you saw that. You saw me press the fucking pinball buttons, that was such bullshit. Yahoo! <laughs> Wario driving his big ass truck down the road. Okay. I always I always ran out of time. Yahoo! I guess that is also Wario Wario Land reference because you turn into Wario Land Wario Wario Land One. Me fighters in Smash Four are all hilarious. It's so, like they were barely characters. They never saw tournament use, but also like Light Me Brawler was also like incredibly cracked for no reason. Wario should be the fifth Mario brother. Oh, please. I mean, I love that Wario is just some guy and they never explain his relation to Mario. It is quite funny. I know official lore is that he was friends with Mario as a child, but it's never been shown in a actual game. This is just random manual lore. Never forget Super Short Me Brawler. Yeah, short and thin Me Brawler was, like, super cracked for no reason. Not for no reason, like, they, they made him... Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot it jumps over you. Do you surprise how move it happened so fast there after getting together? I was expecting another warrior for a long time. I guess, I guess they're just cracked at making get. I mean, to be fair, move it is short as hell. We beat it in two hours when we played it. When I played it with my friend in real life. I mean, I guess, actually, it could be fun to stream Move It as a single-player thing after I'm done with this, in case I need more Wario footage, which I will. After we're done this- God damn it! <laughs> I love the retro minigames like from Mario Land. Uh, Super Mario Bros. So true, me too. Super Wario. Wario games are always short, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's true, better to be short and sweet than overstay the welcome, but on the other hand, I'm paying fucking $65 for this shit, dude. I want a game that lasts, like, more than an afternoon. <laughs> Avoid the Noid! That was the most, like, long-ass, long-ass way I could have collected those, but I still got them. We got it. Oh, we're so cracked. Bring the noise! I fucking love that soundbite in the Noises Escape things. I've been, like, just saying, bring the noise, like, around my house for the last few days. Like, it's, for no reason, it's just so hype to me. Squirt. We never miss a squirt. Misha, I forget, do you like Metroidvanias in general, or just Super Metroid? I like Metroidvanias in general. I haven't played a ton of them, despite me liking them. I played Castlevania, 
a few of those, like Symphony of the Night, Aria, Aria of Sorrow. I should play the DS ones because those are apparently really good. Played all the 2D Metroids. Very nice, except for Metroid 1. That one you should not play. I played Hollow Knight. Didn't like it. Uh, chat can cook me alive for that. I played a bit of Blasphemous. Not, a, not enough to form an actual opinion on it. And then... Oh, I played this really good one called Gato Roboto. It's a really short Metroidvania, but I liked it a lot. Actually, I could play that on stream, maybe. Because that one's, like, it's like, well, once you know what you're doing, it's like a 40-minute game. But on sale, it's like two bucks. So I'd say it's very, very worth a buy. Oh, I can't move when I'm ducked. What is a Hollow Knight? According to everyone on the planet, the greatest Metroidvania of all time. Except for Nero. Nero, my beloved. He's like the first and only YouTuber I've seen who like, who didn't give Hollow Knight like a perfect 10 favorable review. And his comments cooked him alive for that. <laughs> I don't know, Hollow Knight, I can see why everyone on Earth likes it, but I don't know, it just did not click for me. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. We're good. We never die. Grab him. <sighs> you, gotta, you gotta break out the trigonometry for this micro game. Oh, you can like, hit this guy multiple times, can't you? I gave Hollow Knight a shot, but it just didn't grab me. Same. I mean, I played it once. I don't think- I didn't finish it, and I was like, I'll give it another shot. Oh, you have to mash A, you don't hit the D-pad, which is stupid. Um, and then I, I, I tried to follow a walkthrough to be like, okay, maybe if I follow a fucking walkthrough to, to T, then it'll be good, and I still didn't like it that much. I'm a dumb stew baby, and when games don't give me instructions, I blow up so Hollow Knight never clicked. Honestly, kind of same. Like, there's something... I feel like some games can give you too much fucking freedom, and Hollow Knight's definitely one of those games. Like, you can literally miss, like, the person who upgrades your, like, slots for your charms and shit. Also, fucking have a map when I pause the game, please. I don't want to, like, dedicate a, ch a slot that could be a different item to just know where I am on the map. That is so dumb, and I hate it. Also, the save points being few and far between kind of sucks ass. Rusted Moss hit all the atmosphere for me, but it has a functional map system and coolish movement. I will check that out if I don't forget. Actually, I'm gonna... I will literally open Steam right now to wishlist that. You get to watch the three weeks later. Rusted Moss. 1559 Canadian. Add to your wishlist. Close Steam. I'm gonna assess with the House of the Dead 2 for a time, please help. I only play real shooter games. I should play more real shooters. They are fun. People get angry at me when I say I prefer something like Ori over Hollow Knight. It's better because I don't lose all my shit when I die. I also hate the mechanic! <laughs> I know it's a Dark Souls mechanic, right? And I've never played a Souls game, so... I should. I should also play those. I will cook you in... I will cook you alive. I love beating Brooded Ma Maulek as the first boss. Creepypasta where Wario is forced to play these micro games, and if he does it wrong, the giant hand eats him. <laughs> Hot take for Ori is that I like Blind Forest over Will of the Wisps. I think I own one Ori game, but I haven't played it, because I'm a wiener. <laughs> uh, Wario Land 4 music? No way. These game, the, the first few Wario Land games do have a bunch of Wario Land music in them. I forgot god motherfucking damn. I think... I don't remember. I literally don't remember the cutscene music I watched two seconds ago. Yippee. Alright guys, we, we, we made it to the credits. I don't... I think we got every micro game, so we will be replaying a bunch of the a bunch of the dudes. 
Dark Souls Remastered is sitting on my Switch physically taunting me that I'll never able be able to play it. Skill issue. I bought Dark Souls Remastered on Switch for a friend. And that I remember buying it at GameStop and coming back on the train and th their card was I, I made a card for them and it just said Bark Souls a bunch. <laughs> We gamer. I just remembered that Jan Misali made a fanfic about WarioWare called something along the lines of Wario faces the consequences of his actions. <laughs> Very nice. Fun fact, you know that YouTuber ProZD who is also a huge actor- well not huge, like, I, he, he's been in like a major motion picture and a bunch of animes and stuff. He fucking met his wife on a Mario fanfiction forum. Like, bro, that is actually how I'm trying to be. <laughs> like. God damn, I need a wife who appreciates Wario as much as I do. Alright, these are are these just boss minigames? It's bosses, all the okay yeah, it is. Alright, I think if we play this, we'll get some of the micro games we missed from like the intro. <laughs> WarioWare Inc. forms a fucking union. Oh fuck. I'm always too cautious in this one. Love is in the air on those Mario forums, so true. Wario Ghost? Wario Apparition? True. I, I tried to be funny with it. Punished for thy hubris. So true. Excellent! I love that. I love that voice line to no end. Best voice line in any video game, if I'm being real. Potentially. There might be better ones. Oh yeah, convinced a friend to buy Pizza Tower last night. Nice. I've officially, officially converted two people now. I bought Pizza Tower for like... How many friends of mine did I buy? I hate this micro game! Easy my butt! It, it's, it's a good ass game. Pizza Tower. Game of the year. It should have been game of the fucking year, 2023. I, I also watched the. Just because I thought of Wario voice lines, I watched the Cyber Shell. Oh, not Cyber Shell. It's Cyber Shell and that Bernie guy. We're, we're losing. I, I'm i bad at easy micro games, apparently. I watched the Cyber Shell... Fuck. Net Lore podcast episode on the Charles Martinet conspiracy... It was a conspiracy at the time that he had left Nintendo. Or Nintendo would let him go, rather. Turns out it would be... It, 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 it was real, unfortunately. Anyway, it... But... I didn't even realize that there could have potentially been, like, bad blood between Nintendo and Charles, just because of, um, just, like, the fact that he apparently hasn't liked a single- while- I- 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 I hit them at the same time, I should have read more carefully. I didn't even consider there could have been bad blood between Charles and Nintendo, because apparently he didn't like any tweets regarding to the Mario movie, he didn't want to answer stuff about Mario movie at cons and stuff. I don't know, that's sad if that's the case. I know he's like a Mario ambassador now, so there's probably no bad blood, but, you know, we can only make assumptions. Anyway, Misha, do you have an opinion on Sugary Spire? I have not played it. I've seen a few videos on it, and it seems pretty cool. I know it's just a demo for now. I hope it becomes a full, like, whole-ass game. Because more Pizza Tower-ish content would always be welcome in this world. I think Smash Ultimate with 8 players is overstimulating. Too much visual effects on screen at the same time. It is so chaotic. Um, but it, it can be fun at like a party if you don't care about winning. You just want to like throw out big the uh, smash attacks and and watch things go crazy. I think there's a good amount of sections where you can just hold forward and let Pepino do the work. Uh, just where this is... Just this is where I jump, this is where I climb the wall, this is where I rage at the Fork Knight. Yay. You keep learning love until you do it the correct way. 
Oh, you're talking about pizza, like, when... Talking about the pizza tower gameplay? How it can be overstimulating yet? Pizza tower is very fast and frantic, however, if you go slow, the game really doesn't punish you for it. Going fast and getting, like, the really high ranks is just, like, only if you want to do it. There are, like, some random rewards, but you d you're not locked out of any part of the game for going slow. Like, the escape sequences are very forgiving if you only do the first lap. Because you can do two laps, that is difficult. But if you're just doing one lap, totally fine. I really wish they let Charles voice Mario in the movie. The thing is, the way they wrote Mario's character in the movie, it is not like Mario. Mario is always this optimistic, positive force, and the Mario in the movie is like, fucking like, Oh jeez guys, I don't like mushrooms, Oh. Aw, oh, gee whiz! I don't know, I have to go through the fucking training arc. And I'm like, Charles wouldn't have fit. Mario is supposed to be an optimistic-ass character who exudes positive emotions. I know he's a simple-ass character, but I, I, lo I love Mario as a character. I don't know. Charles is actually a hater for the stomping, stomping Koopas guy, that's why he voted tweets. <laughs> Kinda interested in a switchboard if it ever comes out, but I don't think I've ever 100%ed it. I don't know if they do a switchboard to Pizza Tower. Apparently porting Game Maker games to other consoles is quite hard, and Pizza Tower is one of those games. Though Undertale is also a Game Maker game, and they got that on all consoles. There was even a PlayStation theme for Undertale that apparently foreshadowed some shit from Deltarune. Mario is Morty? True. Mario & Luigi gameplay, my beloved. I wish that that series needs to come back. Rip Alpha Dream, dude. Also, like, the Switch is kinda just, like, on its last legs, like... The Switch 2 is, like, totally fucking imminent. There's no way it is, and... I know people have been saying that for, like, forever, but... I don't know, apparently, Game Developers Conference, like, 8% of the people there said that they were working on games for Nintendo Switch successor or something. I got that from a fucking Arlo video, so... He's usually... pretty... He doesn't, like, sensationalize shit that much, I feel like. I, I don't watch Arlo that often, but... I don't know. I trust Arlo's shit on the Switch. He's he's on top of his shit when it, when it, when it comes to Nintendo. Yeah, until PS4 theme had before the story song of Deltarune. Nice. Either March or November next year is happening, there's really no way there's not a new console. I mean, I don't know, Nintendo's apparently gonna be at PAX East this year, so they might show... Actually, no, that, that, they, they wouldn't do that. They would do that at their, like, summer not E3 thing. Also, rip in peace, E3. Imagine Prime 4 is delayed so long and actually comes down to Switch 2. God, I continually forget that Prime 4 is a real fucking video game. <laughs> like, it's been so long. I, I got this game, like, once, and then I never got it again. Green Arlo, I'm mildly amused. <laughs> Is this, like, fucking Purple Sands or some shit? Or the Doys? My face when Pokemon Horizons gets uh, something. Pokemon gets ranges of Toby Fox songs, but the dub version just shafts them for really easily licensable music. What? Is that a real thing? That's so stupid. If it is. I also got Odyssey with the Switch, so I can't be all that mad. Odyssey is so fucking good, dude. I I hope- they always fucking pull out all the stops for a new 3D Mario. That's the thing I'm most excited for for the next Nintendo console. You know what sucks? They, they always release special editions of the console later on, like like, oh, like, this Mario Edition Switch looks really cool, or, like, this Tears of the Kingdom Switch, or this Smash Ultimate Switch. Like, I would love to have those. However, I already own a Switch. I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a console I already own. I'm not a rich-ass, like, Nintendo collector. I mean, I'm a fucking collector of Nintendo shit, but I'm not... I, I, I ain't made of money, bro. Despite being a YouTuber. You know. 
I, I ain't got the fucking Raid Shadow Legends sponsorships yet. I actually, like, here's the thing, I don't actually know how sponsorships are meant to work because, like, every fucking sponsorship that has contacted me through email has, like, been, like, some random scam shit. <laughs> I feel like none of the big reputable ones. I don't know if you have to reach out to sponsors because I've seen channels that are less sub to the me get get sponsors like that, but also, like, my view count is kind of ass because I don't upload ever, lol. But again, I, I don't take YouTube that fucking as seriously as I should because I work an actual 9 to 5 desk job. So, that's my main main source of moolah. I wish I had the Odyssey Red Joy-Cons. I wish I had the fucking uh, Skyward Sword HD Joy-Cons. Those look really nice. They have like the the shield design on them and it, they look really cool. It's perfect when I'm serious to take YouTube. The thing is, I know I shouldn't take YouTube seriously because like, you know, like, it's j like, it should just be a hobby, right? But I also feel like I'm letting the entirety of you guys down if I don't- if I just disappear, don't post ever. So, you know. You know. Plus, people are literally paying me on Patreon for this shit now, so it'd be pretty bad if I didn't upload videos. <laughs> Hubris. We made the Big Dipper. Four kids added generic board music to Pokemon anime now. It doesn't seem like four kids died long ago. Even now the dub does that even though four kids died long ago. That's what the message actually said, if I knew how to read. Uh, rest in peace the fucking One Piece four kids dub, how they fucked up all the music there. I could have forgave every other choice in the One Piece four kids dub if the music was just the same. Because the music in the OG One Piece is really good. If you're on Patreon, you can always just change it to per video instead of monthly. Yeah, I know. Also, I don't know how often I should be updating the Patreon. I have not made a single fucking post on there since the poll. And I'm just like, damn, are people- do people just think I'm neglecting it? Which I kind of am. <laughs> Remember, Usopp, it's your rubber knife! So true. The last scene of Four Kids implies that all the Straw has just died. Imagine that's the better ending than what we get when One Piece actually ends. <laughs> no, it won't be. Oh, come on, Mish, you can't forget Sanji for their... Four Kids for the Sanji voice. Hey, man! I mean, Sanji is, like, such a dork-ass, dumb shit loser in normal One Piece. It's that, like, you know what? That voice kind of fucking fits him. <laughs> Okay, despite getting 82 points, I this is also Crescent Moon Village from Mario Land 4. I don't think we saw a single new micro game in there. I think it might just cycle through micro games. Micro games you already have played. Maybe the hard one will, uh, thrilling. Maybe this one will have ones we haven't played. They're Japanese so I can watch Pokemon anime as intended. I mean, I think they just, what? He cocked blocked me. Oh, you only get one life, what the fuck. Any, uh... I think you- p there's subbed Pokemon anime. Um... But yeah, like, I think there is sub- sub Pokemon anime that- I don't know if they translate the Pokemon names. <gasps> what?! I'm thrilled! Like fucking Zenigame or whatever is Squirtle. What other fucking Pokemon names do I know in Japanese? Lizardon, that's Charizard. Uh, uh, Thunder, Fire, and Freezer, that's... That's, uh, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. Not in that order. Uh... I think Eevee is like Evui. No, I'm bad! This is so thrilling! I still don't know who gave Luffy his straw hat. It was either Usopp, Shanks, or Sonic. It was clearly Sonic! The sub anime stinks for me because. Because I don't know the Japanese names. Yeah, true. 
That would be hard if you don't have Japanese spoken names. But I guess, I mean, I guess Google. You'd have to Google every two seconds. Oh yeah, coughing is Dolgas from Imported Cheese. Oh yeah, I love Imported Cheese. Great YouTuber, you should watch him. Japanese names for characters can be really funny when translated literally. So true. What? I, I missed. I looked at chat. Why does the thumbnail look like that, Mish? Uh, cause I made it in two seconds. <laughs> but I I always forget to make stream thumbnails. All right, what what are we? What games are we missing? Okay, none from this, which is good. Two from the first Jimmy. Bunch from Mona. Only one from uh, Dribble and Spitz, which is good. Two from Nine Volt. Okay, we should probably start with Mona then. So it's seeming the dub subs don't actually use the officially translated text from the dubs as well. I, d I mean, I don't know. I've like, I think I watched like a random episode of subbed Pokemon for for some fucking reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mackie says, As much as four kids think, so I'll always miss the stupid promotional things they did, like making characters sing the American National Anthem. <laughs> That's really fucking funny. <laughs> Mandiba's Japanese name is Vulgina. Yeah, yes, I remember that one. And Bulbapedia insists that it's like, it's supposed to be like Vulture and Regina, but I'm like, okay, Mandibuzz is female only. There's no fucking way it's Regina. <laughs> It's- it's totally just fucking vagina. Duh! <laughs> we did it, Reddit. Magby's booby. I mean, they're actually based on the booby birds. Yeah, it's booby, boober, and boobern for Magby, um, Magmar and Magmortar. Didn't SPK play that on a Jamcast once or something? Japanese po oh yeah, the- the national anthem. The Four Kids National Anthem. No, he played it, but he, like, sang it or something. That was when we were doing the model showcase, I think. Boobern is a great pun. It really is. Truly, it would hurt to burn a boob. Weavile is man Yula, Like, Apu's wife. I need to watch more of The Simpsons, I just remembered. Like, ages ago, I, like, made it up to Season 2 of The Simpsons, and I never continued for some reason. I miss Model Jam 2, dude! I, like... I, I know, again, I know Axo doesn't want to run shit for jams, but, like... It, it was basically, like, like SPK Boomer Cow Quack. Like, they, they could have, like, run a Model Jam just fine. I mean, I don't know. I, like... Maybe things will improve. What the fuck? You can change Mona's outfits. <laughs> I should participate in the next model jam. You should! We can model your profile picture or whatever else you want. Ex Executor's not. Nah. <laughs> I'm not reading the rest of that message. <laughs> oh, he's a parking master. Yeah, if there is a next model jam, I implore everyone who's in Mario Jams to. Oh, this is another cut minigame. What? I was pressing back and forth. Need to get better at modeling so I can participate in the next model jam. You don't have to be great at it. I've seen... I mean, any skill level is welcome. And... Uh, we haven't played this one, really? Um, yeah, any skill level is welcome. For ages, I fucking used SketchUp to make my models. So that should... Like, if you know how to use Blender... And if you followed the donut tutorial... Oh, that minigame is in... Uh... Move it. Fuck! If you follow the Blender donut... The donut... The Blender donut tutorial, you are probably good to make a Model Jam model. I'm glad you have streamer syndrome of reading up the messages without too much thought, lol. <laughs> I like interacting with y'all. Y'all are my... My chat. If I don't have you, I'm nothing. I'm nothing, Mr. Stark. Okay, we're still missing two from Mona. Speaking of Bulbapedia, I remember checking the page for Flamigo and it said it appears to be based on a flamingo. No way! I mean, they gotta they gotta cover all their bases. 
even if the inspiration is obvious. Also, someone on the Stunfisk subreddit, which for if you guys that don't know, r slash Stunfisk is the competitive Pokemon subreddit, uh, pointed out that Clefki, its name is basically just fucking Key Key, because like Clef in French is Key, and Clef Key, it's, it's fucking Key Key. It's really funny to me. And then someone else replied that Darkrai is basically just dark dark because like kurai in in japanese is is darkness so dark kurai it's it's dark dark <laughs> i love shit like that kiki do you love me chai tea moment so true I watched Blender Donut with Adblog because the guy will spend the ad money on crypto or something. Oh, no. Damn. I mean, watch everything with Adblog. Yeah. I hate that minigame! Yeah. Psycho Klinoa's name is just Black Pla Is that true? Hey, no. <laughs> what? I did not know that. Also, Klinoa? I played the collection of it on Switch. Good ass games! Uh, Clone 1 is fucking phenomenal. Like, genuinely, like, I was so blown away of, like, how good the level design is and stuff. And it's just a cute, short little experience. Clone 2? I don't know why I said good games. I hate Clone 2. <laughs> I'm such a, a weenie poo poo hater, but it's true. Kuro is black in Japanese and noir. Oh, Kuro. Kuro no noir. That's actually funny. Huh. Neat. I thought it was just like a fun little fantasy name. I, I recommend Empire of Dreams and Dream Champ Tournament. I think those are on the Game Boy Advance, right? Okay, it's a Mash A minigame. <laughs> I didn't know. Also, I know Game Explain made like a fucking video being like, "This is, is this 2D Mario Odyssey," and pe everyone in the comments was like, "Bro, this is like clearly Kanoa inspired." I don't know what game it was, but I should probably check it out. I still don't know why, for like 4,000 people would willing to send their donuts to be used in an NFT mosaic. Uh, I wish I was making that up. Ah, I, I mean, I guess if people were like willing, then it's not that. Predatory? I don't fucking know. Also, apparently a Blender Donut made it into uh, that movie Everywhere, Every Everything Everywhere All at Once. I've not seen it, but that is cool. Japanese romanization has created so many cool names. Nice. Nice one. Oh, did he say- did she say nice monkey? Is that why people in chat were saying that shit earlier? Okay, I did it way earlier than I normally do, and I still failed the micro game. Oh, you can just do this, right? I refuse to call Chopper Chopper instead of Choppa! That's true. God, when I was a little kid watching One Piece, I thought, oh, they named him Tony Tony Chopper to make him sound way cooler to Americans. A, that's stupid, and B, no, that's not true. I just missed the fucking part where Hero Luke says, I named you that because you're a reindeer, and reindeer in Japanese is fucking Tonakai. So, Tony Tony Chopper. Anyway, I can't wait till they add another playable character to Pizza Tower so I can spend another 40 hours in the game. I don't. Will they? I mean, like, I know in the, like, fucking betas for Pizza Tower, like, so many characters were playable. There was, like, Mr. Stick, there was, um, the Vigilante, there was, I think, Fake Pepino, too. I'm cutting as fast as I can with that micro game. I don't know what the fuck they expect you to do. So, I don't, I don't know, they might add more playable characters, but the noise took, like, a whole ass year to come out. So, who knows. Favorite sounds Toho character Cerno's name. 
Um, is entirely made from translating chill to Japanese and then romanizing it back. That's actually cool, I never knew that. I only know Cyrano from- HOW DOES THAT A MISS?! I only know Cerno from Mega Man Maker, where the devs are big Toho fans and they included her uh, ice powers as a random power-up you can you can select. How many Monas are we missing still? Just one! Bruh. I love using Chopper in DUN! It was a reindeer on steroids and I loved it. Remove the jumper cables from his balls, please! I don't know who the hell that's referring to. I can change my name? Oh my god. I should change my name to my actual name. So I can stop saying that's me every time it says ramen. God, I'm hungry, but I uh But I I must complete WarioWare. Okay, Chill went to Chiru, and then Chiruno, and then Sirno. It's technically pronounced Chirno, but everyone says Sirno. That is interesting. Cool trivia I did not know. Grr, I hate women! Is what uh, Mr. Egg said. I do not hold that belief. That is a joke, YouTube. Ha ha ha! When are you changing my legal name to Morshu? I totally should. That would honestly be way more cool than Mishu. And the thing is, as a kid, I fucking hated my name. I was like, "Erg, no teacher can pronounce it, and it's stupid, and it's uncommon, and no one knows it. And, but, like, now that it's, like, part of my fucking YouTube identity, like, I, sh I can, like, never fucking change my name, dude. I'm Mishu for life. Morshu Kozlowski goes crazy. You're not Mishu though, you're Mishkaz, so true. Mishkaz is a more unique and interesting name than something like Greg Stevens. I guess so. Misha's not a student. So many people in real life thought that my name was a fucking just nickname. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, Mishu's such a fake ass name. Fuck, fucking Poland, dude. I don't even think it's a common name in Poland. It might be though. I don't. I don't. I, I know fuck all about my cultural heritage. I guess I know a decent bit of Indian bullshit from my Indian side, but not enough. There's a million Matthews, for example, but there's like five Mishus. Small part of me wishes I was named something else because I took- Because if I took a shot for every time someone called me Gabe, I'd be dead of alcohol poisoning. How- how- how else is Gabe pronounced, if you don't mind me asking? You're one of a kind, kinda. Like, cause I, a Gabe is short for Gabriel, right? <laughs> and usually, it be short for other things, I assume. Oh, like, they spell it- <laughs> They spell it with the Y in the middle, Spongebob. <laughs> when I- okay, funny fucking elementary school story I've never told. Kids would like always like say stupid shit about my name. Like they'd be like, "Oh, Mish Mish Mi Mitsubishi, Mi Mishubichi, Mishu Pizza," and like one day they fucking said Mishu Penis, and I cried because <laughs> I, I thought like Mishu. Or not, I didn't think Mishu was a fucking swear. I thought penis was like a bad word, and I was like, "No, you can't call me that. I'm so s no, I'm not Mishu Penis." But now, now if you called me Mishu Penis, I'd laugh my ass off. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> I say penis like like every fucking two seconds to my to my to my sister and stuff. I annoy the shit out of her. I'm probably annoying the shit out of her right now because she now shares a oh god she shares a wall with me because I moved rooms downstairs. Fucking part of the reason why I haven't been doing shit on YouTube because like 
It's been a whole ass process of moving, like, everything. Not only from my room, but, for, like, from my sister's room, because I'm occupying her old room now. Lol. Need to change your channel name to Mishu Penis. True, I will never be monetized ever again. <laughs> like how Dong, like Vsauce Dong, had to be changed from that to Ding. Because it used to be Do Online Now, guys. That's what it stood for, but no, nope, YouTube was like, nah, you can't do that. You have to change it. So we just changed it to Ding. Or D exclamation mark NG, rather. I need to get better uh, at being funny because I looked at the iCarly vid again and my comment kind of dumb, not gonna lie. Every, everyone, if you look at comments from ages ago, it's... Oh my god, that just made me think of, like, my old YouTube comments. You can look at your old YouTube comments by going on, like... Like, there, there's, like, a thing if you look at your history and then you click on comments. Anyway, I was looking at all my old comments. Literally, my first fucking YouTube comments were, like, me talking... Me commenting on fucking Chugga Kamurai videos and me talking about One Piece. I truly haven't changed, but then again, I fucking... Like, dude... When, when the shit came out about Chugga Conroy being, like, a fucking weirdo creep, I, that was, like, the saddest fucking shit for me. I have watched that guy since the third fucking grade. And, like, it's just like, oh, he, like, creeps on women asking for feet pictures and also, like, was weird to minors when he was 19. <sighs> I actively avoid looking at my old comments. I miss the duck. Because I know for a fact I would dissolve in an instant. Honestly... Cringing at your old self means that you've uh, changed as a person. No! I died. So it's a good thing. Ugh. I remember finding a. Re oh, I have to squish the Goombas. This is so hard, guys. Find a reply from an old comment of mine in a Chugga video. Damn. I shot two. I did it. Oh sh you have to like go fucking crazy for for those ones. YouTubers try not to be a predator challenge. I'm unironically fucking convinced that when they mail you the 100,000 plaque in the mail, it like releases a fucking gas into your house that like changes your brain chemistry to make you a fucking creep, dude. It like like it's so like consistent for no reason. That's why- that's the real reason my channel has to stagnate at 50k. I will never get the 100,000 plaque. Oh god, they like- th th the thing jumps! <laughs> that shit jumpin'. Please, the ice climber! We lost. YouTuber sleeper agent activated. I think anyone can change enough time, but that's really unfortunate to hear. Yeah, I know. I mean, to- Chugga apparently is like taking like a fucking like long ass break going to hella therapy. His girlfriend's sticking with him, though, which is fucking crazy to me, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, he see- like, he seems genuine about his fucking self-improvement, but again, parasocial shit, you can never fucking truly know some- We're, we're missing one micro game for 9-volt, uh, Mona, and Drivel, and Spitz. What the hell? That's so sad. This is gonna be the fucking one micro game challenge. One micro game for Cat. One micro game for Krygor. I guess we're going to Orbulon then. If he comes back next month, next month or whatnot, he loses that for me. He, I, pretty sure he is like said, or, um, Tim Nintendo Capri Sun. He's been like he was active in the um, Runaway Guys Discord and the Chug Conroy Discord and on Twitter when this whole shit was um, going down. Cause he he lives with, he lives with Emil, uh, he he was active in there saying that like no like he he's he's not gonna be back for like a long ass fucking time. I think the thing that rose me the wrong way is the fact that he's still with his girlfriend, which would be a problem considering the allegations were about. I mean, I think the thing is like she knows the allegations, so it's not like she's like fucking trapped there with him. She fucking knows exactly what has gone on. I fucking did that every time. I think, like, two strums means hit it twice. I might just watch the rest of Black 2 White 2 and just sit in it for a year. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm... bittersweet at the fact that all the allegations happened, like... It happened, like, the fucking week Black 2 White 2 ended. Like... 
What? I pressed down left. I'm so stupid. Grape. Yay. So, yeah. I could- I- I caught the end of Black 2 Way 2 before all that shit went down, so there's no guilt on my conscience for watching it, because no one knew. Also, fun fact, this microgame has the most colors in all of this- in all of WarioWare. Well, at least the first game. It was like some- no, the thing that fucking, uh, started the floodgates, Luma, was, um, it was on, like, r slash YouTube drama, someone posted, like, uh, what's a YouTuber that, like, only has green flags, and then someone, like, did the Reddit equivalent of quote retweeting in the Chugga Conroy subreddit, and people were like, oh, I'm so glad Chugga has, like, no, like, controversies, and, like, people in the comments were like, yep, nothing but green flags here. Then Lady Emily, like, saw that thread, and then on Twitter, like, Vig posted, like, S like, really fucking sucks that, like, someone who, like, fucking literally creeped on me, um, like, and no one knows it, people are just thinking, like, oh yeah, nothing but green flags here, and so then, like, she had her whole, like, document about Chugga, um, I have to read for this one. Bummer rang. I hardly know her rang. Um, and yeah. Then, then, like, shit just went down from there. Uh... Like, even if... Like... I don't know. Like, just reading the fucking chat logs. Like, between him and Lady Emily were, like, so fucking, like... It... It's, it's, it just sucks all around, dude. Who is Chugga Conroy? He's, he's a YouTuber who made Let's Play videos for literally 15 years. Like, 2008 up until, like, this year. Press A three times. Like, he's been do doing this shit since 2008. Made really fucking high-quality videos. Like, genuinely, like, unmatched, in my opinion, and turned out to be a creep. The amount of times I watched the original Paper Mario LP is way too much. Learning about the allegations hurt. So true. This game is excellent. Stuff from 2009, don't really think too much about the recent stuff on Discord, is just off putting. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like, that shit, like, when he was a 19 year old talking about uh, uncomfortable underage things, I'm like, okay. Oh, this is our. This is a new minigame. Um, that shit is like. It is quite fucking bad, but, like, that was, like, so long in the past that I don't know if, like, it would still count as, like, oh, a current fucking thing, but... Yeah. What sucks is that Let's Plays are basically dead now. Yeah, I know. This one's wooglin'. They're, they're wooglin' their eggplants at me. What the fuck? Really easy to forget how much edgy the internet was in 2009. It really was, like... Internet was a fucking different beast. I've heard people say 2014 was, like, the cutoff for, like... Um, the cutoff for- oh shit. Find the four-leaf clover! My sister would be great at this, she found so many four-leaf clovers as a kid. Yet, yeah, QJ, I definitely remember that shit too. Like, again, times have fucking changed on the internet. I'm not saying things were better back then, but things were certainly different. <laughs> Even then, like, when we were kids, like, we were, like, people describe, like, 90s or, like, whatever internet as the Wild West. Like, the shit we grew up as a kid, like, corporations were still on the internet. All over. I never liked it, but it seemed to just be accepted. There was much in place back then, it wasn't okay back then, it was just long ago. I think that's what the comment said. It was just so long ago without much consequence, so, yeah, that's true. There weren't as many consequences back then. I mean, I think anonymity was also a lot more rampant. Like, you could... Nowadays, everything's collected to your fucking... Connected to your fucking email or whatever. Reading through Homestuck felt like opening a time capsule for that... In an era... In, era of the in the worst and best ways possible. Maybe one day I will read Homestuck. Thunder, Trumpet. The heavenly trumpets will defeat this dude. I 
I'm trying to say consequences in relation to chat logs in Chugger from 09. Oh yeah, that's true. Consequences did not appear until this fucking year. Sometimes I go back and watch old SMG4 videos, videos banned I know, and I remember being funny and really emphasizing the difference. <laughs> it's only banned in Mario Jams. This is a fucking... What?! Oh my god. This is a SMG4 safe sp I've never watched SMG4, so I can't actually talk. I've watched Digital Circus, and that's connected to SMG4, right? That That's totally the same thing. Okay. Up. Yeah. Mish is one of the few YT streamers that makes the effort to read chat even during gameplay that demands concentration. <laughs> I get- I- I- I mean, I- Thank you. <laughs> that is a compliment, thank you. Press. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hate- I swear I, I counted it out. I, I can't count, apparently. Somehow I got that, what the fuck. I feel overstimulated now because I'm watching this your stream and a stream on Discord. I feel free to leave this this stream, I mean, we're just playing micro games till we find them all. It's funny looking back at Homestar Runner how much those tunes changed my lexicon. Wrong area. Oh that was all the way on the left, Jesus. Back in the days when I didn't know the R slur was even a slur. I mean it, yeah, back then it was it was used so much. Oh god, there's so many from the final one. I guess we'll, we'll play the final one. Maybe I don't need to 100% this game because it's all it's it'll be midnight in half an hour. This kids in school throwing around those words like they meant nothing. So true. What the fuck? button did I press that opened the fucking start menu? Oh, you know what it was? My controller wire hit the Windows key <laughs> on my keyboard. That's funny. You'll just call things gay every five seconds. That's also true. Oh, we even play that micro game. That's a new one. The Arsler is used in like every 20 pages of early Homestuck. It, it's used in Scott Pilgrim too. Like, it's only a few times. Hashtag only series that takes place in Toronto. That's not true. There's probably many more that take place in Toronto. Let's... I, I, I found Scott Pilgrim, the entire series, at a thrift store in Toronto. Oh shit. I'm... I didn't parse that this was rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, I own it in person. In I physically own all of Scott Pilgrim. I just haven't read all of it. Wait, is, is Scott Pilgrim it? Is the Arsler still in the new Scott Pilgrim series on Netflix? I would have assumed they would have taken that out. Bro hasn't played Color Splash. What the fuck is this? Oh, you mash A. It's a mash A minigame. <laughs> God creating himself. GIF. He's not versed in the ancient, ancient honored art of Rochambeau. I've watched JoJo Part 4. There's a Rochambeau kid. <laughs> I almost got killed by a soccer ball. Still thinking about Wiggler Wednesday! Oh my god, that one fucking tweet for Nintendo that got instantly deleted. What?! That one was- it was! I- I literally tried to grab the earlier, um, cup, and I, I still got the later one. Ugh, an Angel Woman evolves into a dragon, she should evolve into an angel, but Angel Woman is the one of place in her evil line. It's Batamon, then a cat, then a dog, then a cat, then a dragon. What was I gonna say? I- I don't know if I've told you guys about this, but I want to do a stream- this is a stupid fucking idea- where I rank- every lion in a tier list, so every fictional lion that I could possibly find in like a, like, who would win in a battle royale tier list. Um, 
And there are probably a bunch of Lion Digimon that I know nothing about. So I might need the help of chat to, um, to fucking aid me in knowing what Lion Digimon would beat other fictional lions, and also which fictional lion is the strongest. Rank all one billion of them? Literally, QJ, it's like, cause like, the intro for the stream is like, okay, we all know that like, Pokemon would beat the lions, but which lions would beat the other lions? And like, which Pokemon would play for the other team, aka Solgaleo and Pyroar? I mean, I don't think I would- like, if I was to rank the Billion Lions as a collective, then yeah, no shit they'd be at the top of the tier list. But I don't think I would do that. I think normal ass, like, just normal lions that exist in real life would be like B tier as like a benchmark. Leomon, Ice Leomon, Rancho Leomon, Saber Leomon, those are at the top of my mind. Alright, I will trust you. The Mario spray with his mouth open is papyrus, so true. I think they still internally think there's only 721 Pokemon, even though it hasn't been like that for 10 years. 721 was Gen 6, I believe, right? You fuck! Mario faked me! Fuck you, Mario. No, you're gonna cockblock me again, Mario. Long hoagie. There's over a thousand Pokemon now, I can't believe it, you guys. And Goldengo is the thousandth- WHAT?! I, I lost a single pinball, that's not how it works. Owning a pinball table would be pretty cool, don't you think? There are at least three Pokemon. True, Pikachu? Uh... Charizard? Jackie Chan. Play Digimon World 1, it's a menace because you need a guide to play it. I own? Wait, where the fuck is it? It's on my shelf. I don't have my webcam plugged in, so I can't even show you, but... Which Digimon World is this? I own Digimon World 4 for the GameCube. It still has a $24.99 sticker on it. This was my step-siblings, uh, Digimon World 4. I know nothing about Digimon World. I think their save data is still on a memory card. Yeah, it's still on the fucking 32 uh, megabyte memory card that is in front of my Wii. <laughs> so I could play Digimon World 4, but I know nothing about it. Apparently that game's hard, according to my step-siblings, plural. I only recognize the first 809 Pokemon, uh, all the Pokemon up to, all, up to Ultra Sun. Oh, What? You can rip the thing? Damn. WarioWare sounds like a company for real. It totally is. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, that was the last game that had national decks. Um, fuck! Fuck Mario! The last game that had national decks was Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, so makes sense that you only remember the first 809 Pokemon. One of the last games. What? It just leaves? Old House of the Digimon DS game. Oh, I know Jaden Animations fucking played a Digimon DS game and she was like, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> Apparently the Digimon community cannot agree on what Digimon games are good, which I think is funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're not gonna rip the shirt. Yippee. It's hard to process internally that there's over a thousand of these little bastards. Think how many merchandise plushies we can sell. I need to buy myself a fucking Tyranitar plushie or something, dude. Tyranitar is so cool, and he gets such, like, comparatively little merch to my other favorite Pokemon, Vapor Vaporeon. I love Tyranitar. He's he's like a Godzilla dude, like what's not to love? Digimon Battle Arena 2 is objectively the best Digimon game and the best and it's a platform fighting game. Ooh! I like platform fighters. Shoutouts to Rivals of Aether and Rivals 2. I've backed that game on Kickstarter. 
I, I think I did like I did like a thirty dollar tier, so I get a free copy of the game and some other bullshit. Oh, I didn't avoid the hand. How many Pokemon are there that have likely zero merch? Uh, none of them. They all get merch at some point. Like it is. It is like I don't think the most recent. I I messed up the easiest game in the world. Um, like I don't think the latest Pokemon have merch yet, because they have to, like, fucking manufacture the plushies, and I think they always, like, um, make sure that the plushies release at the same time. So probably not Gen 9 Mons, but they will have merch at some point. Uh, we're missing two in this. Honestly, okay, we just hit three hours. My voice is kind of fucking, like, hurting. So I might- I think this might be a good- good time to end the stream. We had ended on some Dong Dong. I don't know what Dong Dong is. Uh... This sure is Dong and my Dong. I want an Angel Woman plushie. I should play Rivals more. I don't know if I'll switch Rivals 2 when it comes out, though. Honestly, Kidders, we should just run some Rivals games at some point. I know I'm in that server for... Literally for Rivals games. Oh, you press the L and R buttons. That's funny. Am I donging this dong or something? What do I do? What the? Like, oh, you push things and you try to squash the other player. I see how it is. Well, this is not very fun as one player. Anyway, Rivals is cool. I like the base game more than I like the workshop because I'm a weirdo who, who appreciates a smash like. <laughs> yeah, it's a fake- well, I, I think it's like the idea is you hand your Game Boy Advance to your pal, and like you both have it in your hands. I, I think all the two-player ones are like this. It's, it's cool that they made games that are like, you can play it with one system. That's, that's kind of neat to me. Anyway, yeah, it's been three hours, almost midnight. I think- I will let y'all go, and who knows, maybe, maybe next stream I will be streaming some WarioWare Move It. Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe with a webcam, because it might be funny to see me fucking, like, flailing my arms around, but probably not, because I'm a, I'm a shy piece of shit, and, like, live streaming for an audience with a webcam is scary. But, oh, oh wait, yeah, I don't, I, if I'm playing on my Switch, I don't have to have my, I'm, like, low on USB slots, I have to unplug, like, uh, my controller and shit if I want my webcam plugged in, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you all. See you all later. Good night, guys. Mwah.